tonight. Garage Department Super Bowl edition. Liam D Mac in here. This is the mod. What's going on, D Mac? Doing good, doing good. How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm doing very well, sir. Uh, we got some real difficulties. We don't know where the rest of the people are. But you know what? We're broadcast professionals, so we're going to get it done. So right now we're in the first quarter of the game. 316 and counting. Chiefs inside the red zone. 3-0 San Francisco. So D Mac, how was your week, baby? Well, my week was good. My week was good. Uh, just a lot of changes going on. Uh, living life with a little man just free. And uh TO stays, so I'm sure all those with little boys through yeah it's glorious thing. and everything they say worry about we're going through <laughs> like what what is there really to worry about well, we're currently in the potty training stage that's a good that's a bad stage for boys um like awful stage so but we got that in the normal he's just extremely active doesn't like to go to sleep choice about what he eats he's not really talking back yet uh, but i'm assuming that is on the way yeah, it's definitely on the way. All right, now we're on the phone. <laughs> well, yeah. That was uh, one of the members there. Let yeah. you know there in tow. Had a few uh, vehicle issues, but everybody's safe. Yeah, you know, I had a vehicle issue this week. Really? What was that? Yeah, the wife had a car accident. Oh, really? I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. Everything okay? No. No? I mean, she's fine. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well, that is great <laughs> news, but I'm assuming the vehicle was not? The vehicle's all right, man, but, you know, uh, I think we're going to be, well, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just, let's just say the front end of our vehicle's damaged and the back end of the other vehicle is damaged. Well, hopefully we have that gap so that should insurance. So that should give you an indication. We don't need gap insurance. The car is completely drivable. Okay. Only thing is you tell people when they buy stuff like an Infinity. <laughs> that the parts cost a little bit more, and they're not even lying. though it's just a Nissan. Yeah, just a Nissan with pretty sheet metal on it, but that sheet metal is expensive. Okay, so 49ers Chiefs. It's first quarter, three zero. I feel it's a good time. Who you, who you think is gonna win this? Just your off the top prediction. I got the Chiefs uh, only because of the offensive power that they show san francisco has a great running game all that good stuff really good defense two of the best tight ends in the game playing tonight but i got the chiefs uh just due to i believe they have the superior quarterback and quarterback and always wins that is the way i feel as well the fact that the quarterback is usually the determining factor in the uh, football games and they have the best quarterback, not to mention a lot of the things are similar. Um, I'm going for the – I believe the Chiefs are going to win as well. Yeah, it's just like with any sport, man. Anybody who gets the easier scores. And I didn't watch the first quarter, but you did. So you're telling me that uh, San Francisco already hit with a reverse pass? Uh, well, he did not. He was unable to pass it. The uh, linebacker saw it and covered Jimmy G. So he ran for about 25 on the reverse uh, or the play action wide receiver sweep slash toss, I guess. Um, that was their big play that got them down there. It was about a 30 or 40 yard run by, uh, what's his name? Dabo? Debo Samuel? Yeah. Debo. Debo Samuel. Yeah. Don't worry. Debo. Yeah, like, Debo. He, like, like I'm Debo just going to tuck mine in. Yeah, like okay. just like that. Like the dude that hit red. <laughs> Felicia boyfriend. You want some of this, old man? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that was on the other night, too, man. Yeah, but Felicia boyfriend. Yeah, yeah that actually made me feel better after I found out about the accident. <laughs> that, you had, that you were able to watch Friday. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, it's a pick me up. Yeah, it really it is, is a, a pick me up. And it's so many of them. A hell of a pick me up, man. So, we got some topics, right, for tonight, huh? We do have some topics. Because we didn't want to talk about the Super Bowl, even though that's the biggest thing going on. And let me apologize. I'm not apologizing to the public, but I'm apologizing to my showmates and all of that uh, for falling asleep on our conference call. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> and then lying about it. Yeah, it's the first inclination is to lie. 
<laughs> you know, that's the first thing you do always. It wasn't my bed. It was somebody else's bed. <laughs> my daddy always taught me it's always his bed. It's always his bed. Not yeah. your bed. <laughs> you see, you seen any commercials yet? Uh, I saw a couple. The only one that really stood out, though, ironically, was a NFL commercial. Uh-huh. Where the boy was um, playing little pop on or whatnot, and then they, uh, Jim Brown told him to take it to the house, and then he com- continues to hit his Forrest Gump from his um, wherever he's playing at through New York, through Philly, all over the place, all through the city, all through the United States, running down to Miami. Okay. Um, interesting. He had a lot of celebrities in there, um, ran through San Francisco, had all of them in there. Oh, Dolo. boy, look at this. What are they? Old okay. school single Good wing. Uh. Old school single wing football. This is beautiful. So we had uh, <laughs> Patrick Mahomes <laughs> lined up on the center. Then we had a massive shift where the, everybody moved over in the backfield. It was a, what, a wing tee? Yeah, I mean, that's like the old school wing tee or Notre Dame box. That shift was pretty at the, at the beginning, man. That's an and homage. So then it ended up being a direct snap to oh, Williams, he didn't get in, and though. they called it a touchdown, but yeah, it it's a first down. Now. is not a touchdown. Yeah, that's the Notre Dame box. Boy, look at that. Ah! Oh, my dad's tripping right now. My dad is flipping <laughs> right now watching this. Loving the old school, huh? Yeah, well, uh, you know, back in his day, South Natchez High School in Natchez, Mississippi used to run the old Notre Dame box, which was popularized by... Your boy Newt Rockney. Newt Rockney. That's how. That's how far back. I that was gonna goes. say that is. Yeah, man, the Chiefs going old school. I like that. And then I think they're in there, right? It's a touchdown. Yeah, that's a touchdown there. Yeah, see the team that gets the easier scores. Well, no. Oh, no, they didn't get it. No, it's not a touchdown. So, 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Second and goal. Does not look like it was a touchdown on first and goal. So, um, Patrick Mahomes' face man is real close to his face. Who's the best player on the field? <laughs> the best player on the field best right now or field. best player on the In field general, for each team? For each team. Oh, God. See, that depends on what you say about best Ooh, player. Them boys ran an option. Yeah, they, they ran did. the option. They're running the old school. With Mahomes and Williams. Yeah, that's what you speed call speed option. Speed option, yeah, exactly. Speed <laughs> option. Tommy Frazier is loving it right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. And seven to th- or six to three pending the extra point. Seven to three. Speed Chiefs up over San Francisco. Man, yeah, I, I got a feeling this is going to be kind of out of hand because I I see the 49ers kicking a lot of field goals and the Chiefs punching it in just like they did here. The offensive innovation. Yeah, they won't. I don't see them stop. They need turnovers. Mm-hmm. 49ers are going to need to get at least one or two turnovers or they're going to need a couple big plays. But like yeah. you say, they can't get down there and keep kicking these field goals. And one of the other topics we were talking about, I, I kind of feel like Andy Reid's do. You know what I'm saying? Andy I kind of feel yeah. like he's due. He has had an extremely difficult time in NFC championships mainly, but five? AFC championships as well. Yes, he I believe so. Five with McNabb, went to one Super Bowl. Was, I know he was winless in Kansas City at home in AFC championships. Yeah. yeah. Um, so he's too good of a coach, you know, not to to go winless like that. So, and then now he has, as you were saying, he had McNabb before mm-hmm. and ran up mostly against uh, the Tom Brady's when he made it to the Super Bowl. Well, the and then he before the he made Bowl. it. Yeah, before making it, he had the, uh, he had the Drew Bridges of having to play the Rams. Uh, Kurt Warner and them. Yeah, and then. Uh, the show on turf. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was just very unlucky all these years. Yeah. And he was never the best. So, now he has the best quarterback by far. But he, I, I believe Going back to my original question, he's the best player on the field. Like and both teams. Patrick Mahomes. Yes, Patrick Mahomes, offense and defense. I would say Joey Bosa, uh, maybe Richard Sherman would be second for me. You got to throw Jimmy G up there because he is simply touching the ball almost every play, even though in the first drive they took it out of his hands three times, I believe. Oh, boy. Um, with Travis Kelsey and George Kittle, of course. That's what I was going to say. Uh, That's a wash. Kittle is Kelsey nice, but Kittle is always wide open. He is because Kittle's a hell of a blocker. Always wide open. Kittle's an actual real tight end from like the old school. Because if you watch Kittle block, Kittle blocks like a like a tackle. Like a tackle. Yeah, he does, man. And then sheds that and goes out and catches a five yard pass and turns it into eighty yards. Yeah, he runs hard at will. 
Yeah, hell of a young man. That Snickers George Kittle. Yeah, nice Snickers commercial here. What's going on here? I'm sorry, we can't turn the volume up for y'all. Hey, look at that. Yeah, not sure. We got to catch a lot of these later on. Yeah, do you even care about Super Bowl commercials anymore? I do. You do? I really do. Like, they don't, you know, they don't influence me, make me go buy anything. But they, they are the, you can tell the artistic work that was put into these. Yeah, like, in too. most commercials, they're kind of just ho-hum, what's going to be catchy, what's focus group, what's the words we need to use, what's the song that's best says, blah, blah, blah. A lot of these Super Bowl commercials, since they're paying so much, they're using the whole time. They make basically little movies. Mm -hmm. The companies that do it make little movies. The, the things like TV show commercials and movie commercials, clearly, you know, they do their own thing. But when you have like an Amazon commercial or you have like a polo commercial or something like that, and they're truly little movies. A lot yeah. of them controversial, but. Yeah, it used to be beer commercials that everybody looked for. Yeah. Like, now everybody's getting in on the thing. And it's more of a clout chasing thing now. Yeah. I don't think they really care about the quality of what they said. Or if we're really going to sell something, I think it's sort of a status symbol. Like, yeah, we bought a Super Bowl commercial. Yeah, because there are a lot of companies who you won't even see have a commercial throughout the whole year. Yeah, you know, yeah with any NFL broadcast. 15, but 15 seconds spot on, on the Super Bowl. But, I mean, this is what they say is going to reach, like, six million people? Six million? Yeah. That's it? If I'm not mistaken. You mean billion? A billion. Six billion. billion. Yeah. No. How many people on Earth? 7.6 billion, they say. I think they're trying to reach six billion. I don't know. It's a lot of this. Okay. It's, it's a bunch of people. Well, it's a bunch of people in Accra, Ghana, huddled around uh, one I was going to say. <laughs> I guess. I, the rice fields in Vietnam, yeah. they got a little... Rabbit is well, out there, too. I was watching too. French coverage this morning. Does North Korea, could does North Korea even show this? Nah, I doubt it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's at the... China has to show it. I think if the... <laughs> if the Oons... <laughs> want to watch the Super Bowl, it'll be there. So, 49ers a play action. Beautiful completion there. To Emmanuel Sanders. So, there's going to be some commotion coming. Here come the people. The Calvary's in. Check it out. D. Watson was at the Rockets game. Was he really? After attending the Super Bowl. I can understand. That's that a smart a choice, bit man. Frustrating to me as well. Nah, that's a smart choice. People get in trouble at the Super Bowl. So, it's a good thing he wasn't there. Hey, man, where you been? Where you been? It's yeah. been quite a story, brother. It's been quite a story. <laughs> Well, tell us about it. We got. Let me let me say gift. this though. You gentlemen are quite the professionals. <laughs> you are quite the professionals. I'm proud of you, gentlemen. Well, we all have to be, man. I'm proud of you, gentlemen. What else are we gonna do? What did I lie to you about? Yeah. What did I lie about? The password and everything you gave us wasn't quite what it is, but what it's did okay. I say? Don't worry about it. Worry about we can't right. give that. Don't give that out on air. <laughs> but. Suffice it to say. I have a feeling you were probably doing something that I... No, anyway. no, no. I had to put in a whole different username. I'm proud of you, gentlemen. <laughs> Extremely proud of you. Well, thank you, sir. We're proud of you, too, for making it in. Brother, you have no idea. I got Kansas City. Okay. Uh, simply because... Uh, they can score. Ah, it's the same thing we said. And what I mean you by that. You have to that, do a different take. You was no, listening. No, no, let me, let me, well, well, I'll explain it. <laughs> I'll explain it. They can score much better than. And what I mean you have to do a different Uh-oh, take. what we got going on here, man? Well, I'll explain it. Oh, brother. Yeah, something's messed up. Why are we doubling up there? You know what, we'll fix that in a sec. So now, <laughs> uh. I'm proud of you, boy. Listen, <laughs> listen. I am proud of you. I, I can't. I can't even. I am proud of you. So, they can score much better than San Diego. I'm San Diego. San Francisco. I can. I agree. They can score better than San Diego. San Diego didn't even make it to the playoffs. They can score much better than San Diego. San Francisco. And I'm about to say it again. San Francisco can stop people. So now, the only chance that San Francisco has. As if they run the ball. Because one thing Kansas City cannot do is run the ball. I mean, stop the run, excuse me. Stop the run. 
Evidently they can. They, they, they did it last week. Yeah. And they have um, shown that they have the Romeo Cordell old school bend over break method. <laughs> yeah. Where they gave up about 50 yards rushing on the first drive. But they got a field goal out of it. And field goal will not win you ball game. Because as we have seen previously, you can score touchdowns and have them up by, let's just say, we ain't going to say 24. That brings back bad memories. But we'll just say at least two possessions. And they'll just come right back and take the lead on you in the first quarter. And then it's over. Okay. Shout out to my boy D. Watson. Uh, wearing his jersey. He's a Texas fan here. Uh, so, Super Bowl back on there. Honoring a few of the uh, Hall of Fame people. Look at Adrian James. Still like he can play. We definitely got to talk about that. Steve Atwater. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why you're so upset about that. What has Steve Atwater done to be a Hall of Famer? What hasn't he done to not be a Hall of Famer? For what? One hit? No, not one hit. No, not one hit for many. Yeah, you're not giving Steve Atwater his credit. Yeah, and you're not going to get stats. Yeah, you're not going to get stats on the safety, man. You have to actually have watched the game and seen how safety dominates. And Steve Atwater was a truly dominant safety. When he was young, he had good range. He wasn't just a hit machine like everybody tries to make him out to be. When I saw you post that saying, we got to talk about Steve Atwater, I, was, I went looking up if Steve Atwater got caught with a prostitute or something no, like that. No, 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 I was no, like, no, why no, we no, got to no. talk about Steve now, Atwater? Now, one thing I will honestly say, anytime I give a vote, I, 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 of course I have no vote, but anytime I give a vote for a Hall of Famer, it's going to be based on football. It's not going to be on anything outside of that. I guarantee you that. Oh, boy. And Steve Atwater. That's a, yeah, it's a turnover. Steve Atwater. This is going to be, hold on one thing. I, I got a feeling this is going to be nasty, and I'll continue hating on Steve Atwater. Go. Steve Atwater has done absolutely nothing to be a Hall of Famer. What are we basing this on? We're basing he, didn't this lead, on he didn't lead his area in tackle. Not that I'm, I mean, that's a little hard to do anyway. He's a safety, man. Yes, he is a safety. So you can't really go on stats. You yes, have you can. To, no, you can't. Let me tell you why. You can't Ed go on Reed, stats. Hall what of about Famer. Reed? Okay. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Because he, question, he was dominant. Right? Because he was dominant. Yes, it's, in his position. Isn't that what Hall of Famers do? And Aren't Steve Atwater was also dominant in his Hall position. What was he dominant in doing? What? What are you talking about? He was dominant in everything. What? Steve, Who? When Steve Atwater was on the field, everybody respected Steve Atwater, and everybody had to look Steve for Steve Atwater. Atwater. Steve Atwater was a game changer. Steve Atwater, Steve Atwater, Atwater went, went to multiple Super Bowls, then wound up winning multiple Super Bowls, was on Super Bowl winning teams, and contributed in those Super Bowls. Steve Atwater was a tackle machine from free safety. Like I said, when he was young, he had great range. He broke up plays. He broke up passes. Yeah, he didn't catch a lot of interceptions, but guess what? He played safety. A lot of safeties don't catch a whole lot of interceptions. Not in this era. You tend to throw away from people like that. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Because I like what you're saying. Well, let's stay there for a second. Because mm -hmm. he also went in with another safety. Troy Palomalu. Uh-huh. Who was also Ooh, no. dominant. Fielder, Listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So now, you're proving my point in this way. You said Ed Reed without question. Mm -hmm. You said Troy Palomalu without question. Mm -hmm. You can't say Steve Atwater without question. I definitely can. Yes, I can. No, you cannot. Based yes, can. on what now? It took years because he's a safety. Number one, there's not many safeties in the Hall of Fame. Safeties don't get the love that they should get in contract negotiations or any of that. Safeties get hated on just because it's not a sexy position. Really. No, that's what linemen get. Safeties do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Name me a popular safety and a high-paid safety. Who's the highest-paid safety in, the, in football? I know. It's highest probably, paid, it's, I don't know. It's probably the lowest be, paid position. Who should be is Thomas. Who's Thomas? My man in, uh, in uh, Baltimore. Million, 40, 40 million. Uh, yeah, Thomas. Why I can't think his first name? From Tech, know. from Orange. The kid from Orange. Earl, 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 Earl Thomas. Earl, Earl Thomas. Okay, that's what I figured you were talking about. Okay, so hold on. I thought you were talking about some dude one. named Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> No, eight Pro Bowls. No, 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 no. Two time Super Bowl champion. Eight time Pro Bowl. First team two all time pro, first three, team all two pro. Two times. Second team all pro. Two times UPI first team all AFC. NFL nineteen nineties all decade team. 
Denver Broncos Ring of Honor, 1,180 tackles, 24 interceptions, 408 yards from interceptions, and he five had how sacks. many tackles? 1,180. How many, how many seasons did he play? Ten. Ten. So that's what, 100 tackles a season? It's 118 Ooh. tackles a season, yes. Ooh. For a safety. That's a lot of tackles. And no, remember, that's what a safety is supposed to do. Yeah, no, not if you got a linebacker in front of you who you're that's supposed to. Safety should not no, no, be. No, 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 no. That's what they Safety should not be the lead tackle on the this, team, right? No, it's not good for them to be, but what? they're supposed to be. Well, no, they're supposed no. to be able to tackle, so thus you're the last <laughs> line of defense. Exactly. But you should not have a safety being your. They should be unless he's in the box. Unless he's what Roy Williams. He showed him. They sure wouldn't ask him to go cover. Now. They, they wouldn't ask him to go cover, but he was the free safety. Hall of Fame. He wasn't strong. I'm not saying he sucks. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying he sucks. You talking about like he, he's better. I'm okay, saying, again, because Dion brought this point up a couple weeks ago. When you think Hall of Famer, we're thinking folks who whose, whose abilities are unmatched, right? Not necessarily. Unmatched you have at those positions during you those in. times. Unmatched at those positions during those times. Right? You can't sit there and tell me that Steve Atwater was the best safety in the He was the second time. best. That's I just he was second best he to played who? from eighty nine to ninety nine. Second best to who? Only one I can think of is Ronnie Lott that might have competed. Man, Ronnie, Ronnie Lott, Lott was retired in ninety two. No, Ronnie, Ronnie Lott, Lott was, was a, a safety. safety. Ronnie Lott was drafted as a corner. Ronnie Lott was a safety. How many years did he play as safety? A lot. The majority of his Most career, of his, he How played maybe play in the corner. Maybe his not rookie very year. So you think he went into the Hall of Fame as a as a safety, or was yes. it, is it because he worked because he was a corner and a safety? No, he, no, he went, went in as, as a safety, safety. because he played I'm safety saying, you with think the Raiders. He went in for only his safety years. Yes. yes. No, he didn't. Stop. You get you get moved from cornerback because you don't play it well. They don't move you from cornerback to safety because you can cover the no, hell they out of move, people. They moved him from corner to safety because he hit outstanding. No, players. they move. They don't, it doesn't matter if you hit. They they move you from corner to safety because you can't cover people one on one. You know that. Why else would you move from corner to safety? You'd rather put a guy at corner if he can cover. You don't put a good cover guy at safety. Then why, why, why is uh this boy playing now? Sherman not playing safety because he can't Rich, cover. Richard Sherman not playing. Richard can't cover. No, he can't. Richard Sherman is basically playing safety <laughs> if you play corner <laughs> and you're side. playing a cover three every yeah, damn play. Yeah, he's like he's basically yeah. a safety. He's, he's a third safety. He's a third safety. He's not a. He's not a corner. He is far from a corner. Yes, he he's not. His space very well. He's basically playing a four two five. Yeah, he's playing a four two five. I'm glad you understand. But we played the sport, so mm -hmm. I, I, we understand that. That's basically where Richard. I Sherman mean, is he doing. is getting away with oh how he is stealing money. Oh, he's stealing money. Yeah, but he made and he's getting voted to all pro teams doing that foolishness. But anyway, I digress. So now. I hold on, hold on, hold on. Do not digress because I, I'm sorry, but Mel I gotta Renfro, go over this with you. Play? Okay. <laughs> Because you're talking about Steve Atwater. Okay, no, now how many from? tackles did I say Steve Two Atwater seven. had? You said 1,000, 100, like and like 80. The Cowboys. Okay. Let's look at Troy Palomalo. Okay? It's he wouldn't have had that many steps, but he'd have a lot more picks. Because no, he doesn't. He has four more picks. He has 32 picks in his career. How many more seasons, though? Atwater played more seasons than Troy Palomalo. No, he did not. How many? Atwater, how many? Atwater, Steve Atwater, Atwater played 10, 10, 10, seasons. 10 seasons. How many did Troy play? Palomalo uh, had 10. Yeah, Atwater only had 24 picks. Okay, and, and Palomalo had 32. Yay him. He did have three touchdowns, though. All right? Steve Atwater didn't have any touchdowns. All right? Troy Palomalo, 770 tackles. Steve Atwater, 1,180. Now, granted, Troy Palomalo. Troy Palomalo, 12 defense. sacks. He did play on a much better defense. Troy Palomalo, 12 sacks. Steve Atwater just five, but they weren't blitzing safeties like that early on. I'm Steve Atwater not with career. that defense. Twenty-four that interceptions. Steve Atwater thirty-two interceptions for uh, Palomalo. They got forced fumbles on here for Palomalo, but not for Steve Atwater. I, I guess they didn't catch Steve him. Atwater. Six forced six fumbles. Six fumble. Eight four eight fumbles. Palomalo recovers. had fourteen, but you know. What about <laughs> pass breakups? They got pass breakups on that? <laughs> that's a big difference, though. Six to four. Say, pass deep. Mm, nah, they don't have it for speed, his that's career. That's speed up there. It's killing me. So, no, you cannot, do not hate on Steve Atwater Wait, no, just no. because your memory listen, is short. No, listen to what I'm <laughs> just saying. Just because your memory is short, listen don't hate on Steve I'm Atwater. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. I am not saying Steve Atwater is trash. You're saying doesn't belong I'm saying in the Hall he of is fame. not a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer, man. No. Yes, because you can't just go straight on stats when you talk about saying, his safety. No. You were born in okay, so let's start in ninety. From nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety nine, who was the best safety? 
from 1990 to 1999. Anytime in that range, who would you say? You would definitely have to put Ronnie Lott in there. You have to put um, Rod Woodson in. Although Ronnie Lott retired in what, 92? Although Rod Woodson played yeah, safety sure. way uh, late in his uh, career. If he looked at it. Ronnie Lott retired in 95, 94, really. Okay. I saw season. enough of Ronnie Lott. He was everywhere. But he wasn't with. He, he, he was in the twilight of his career when Steve Atwater was coming in and coming into his own. I remember Steve Atwater playing at Arkansas. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. I would say yeah. Rod so, Woodson, maybe. I would like say Rod Woodson, but he started well, as a well, corner, Rod too. Woodson was a corner though, right. He career. converted, he moved too. to safety after his knee fell apart. He, he converted, after too. After Barry Sanders. Yeah, after, pretty much. After, <laughs> after he Sanders. put his knee on backwards one time. <laughs> so, so. That's kind of proving my point. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me just remember. Foggy. Okay, Let okay. me remember. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You asking hold me to go on, back a long hey, time, hey, hey, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your first team safeties, as far as the NFL Hall of Fame says, safeties of the 1990s. Okay. Okay, first team, Steve Atwater and Leroy Butler. Leroy okay. Butler played Leroy Butler. Time. Okay. Your second, yeah, okay. Team, uh, your second team is Green Carnell Bay Lake and Ronnie Lott. Carnell, Carnell, Carnell Lake. Forgot, forgot about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so what? What? Huh? Who wasn't better than Steve Edward? Carnell Lake. Of course not, he wasn't. No. Carnell Lake was a good player, though. But no, he was. But a, it's okay. No, no, no. Because this is my point. Ain't hey. none of them. Ain't none of them point. tackled the Man. Nigerian nightmare. Exactly. <laughs> Who that's, ended? That's the real reason. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's the real reason he's in the Hall of Fame. No, he that's has a, one iconic bro, play. No. One iconic. Play. He has hey, a bunch of iconic hey, plays, I mean, but that's played them two times a year. Hey. That's his real iconic play. Nobody yes. else did that. Because nobody else stepped up to hit him. I also saw him. Remember Roosevelt Potts? I saw him knock his own teammate out Dude, one time. I saw that. Do you, do, do you remember Roosevelt Potts? <laughs> Not really. Roosevelt no. Potts was another 260-pound fullback that played for the Indianapolis Colts. He was pretty good. He blocked for Eric Dickerson for a while. Eric Dickerson left. He was still in Indianapolis. I saw Steve Atwater also ended his career, but Roosevelt Potts wasn't as big a name. As a Nigeria nightmare, but he knocked this man clean out. He met him in the hole. The stuff didn't even make sense as far as the laws of physics again. for a 212 pound man to hit a 260 pound man. Both of them moving as fast as they can. So listen, again, because I want to make my position clear. I am not saying Steve Atwater sucked. That is not what I am saying. It, it, it sounds kind of like you saying. How is that? No, that is not what I'm saying. You're saying he's good, but he ain't Hall of Fame. Exactly. Either. He's good, but not Hall of Fame. Again, I, I Hall of Famers, listen to me now. Just walk with me, gentlemen. I walk with me. I, I can't walk, walk with you. Walk with me. Because you, you won't even try. Be no, but he was. I need you to take a step with okay, me. Okay, so he. <laughs> You but sound he, like re a preacher he, now. he revolutionized the safety position. Though. Ooh. He helped revolutionize the safety position. No, if anybody helped revolutionize it, it would be Ronnie Ronnie Lott. But he wasn't the only one. This is my point. Listen and he to was what gone. We're not talking about that. There had Gentlemen, to be somebody next. Hear me when okay, I say. Okay, so okay, so first person out your mouth is Ronnie Lott. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Who's the second person out your mouth? I said Rod wasn't. No, it's but Ron Steve Wilson was a corner for the majority of his career. Listen you to, said that. Gentlemen, listen to my he point. Was. Because y'all are y'all are actually taking my point somewhere. I, that's not my point. Listen to my point. My point is this. When you think Hall of Famer, it is no question. When no, it's guys, not. When you think Hall of Famer, it's who's the best at that at, for a decade, for no, their career. No, that's not no, by no means is that what that's an all pro. A Hall of Famer. No, a Hall of Famer is the whole career. There should never be a doubt about a Hall of Famer. If you have to go, eh, that's not a Hall of Famer. You I don't have to go to, to Steve Atwater. First off, some people though. don't have to what? for Steve Atwater. But there's always levels to it. There's always going to be the worst person in the Hall of Fame, right? Okay, so Steve Atwater, right? Carnell Lake. No, ain't no worse in the Hall that's of Fame. That's absurd, brother. Come that's, on. That's my point. There are no they worst got, players in the Hall of Fame. They got Joe Namath in the Hall of Fame. So, Steve. Yeah, do. So Joe this Namath. This man could not throw a, a completed pass You talking before about somebody an interception with one at all. Them, uh, well, I, I would then, hey, if you I, say I, that it, Joe Namath should not be in the Hall of Fame, I wouldn't dispute that. No, that's absurd. He has maybe the most iconic play or game that's in the, the history reason, of the game. That's the reason he's in it. 
And that's, that's the Hall of Fame. There's multiple things that get you in. The one thing that always gets you in is dominance over a decade or more. It's being the best player at your position consistently for a 10-year period. When that occurs, it's usually no doubt. The ones that have trouble were the ones that were exceptional for like what six about and then maybe didn't make it in. Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson. They they got, he got a couple of, Is that the one that got a couple other issues? No, that's, no, that's Cowboy. sharp. Yeah, yeah, that's no, sharp. no, no. That, that, Darren that's, Woodson? That's Darren, Darren Woodson, Woodson from the Cowboys. I wouldn't. No. How many he win? Now, how, how can you emphatically say no? How many no? Super Bowls did he win? Three. How can you emphatically say I'm no going to off of the, all, the team of the the, the, the all time NFL put, 1990s uh, team? That, what? Okay. <laughs> and the Steve Atwater, Leroy Butler, Carnell Lake, Ronnie Lott. Ain't nobody say nothing about no damn Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson. <laughs> Dar- <laughs> Darren Woodson benefited of having Deion Sanders. the Cowboys. Sanders. Having Deion Sanders. Well, then I can say that Rod Wood, I mean, that uh, uh, Steve Atwater benefited for having uh, who, um, who, 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 Neil Smith. Not Neil. And, and, what, uh, Neil Smith, Smith? Who came to the Broncos after he was really good at the. Are you, are you talking City. about Dennis Smith, his strong safety? Cause sure. Is that who you're talking about? And then what was, what was the other one on. Um, you don't know. Um, Charles no, the Demery. The Toast? linebacker. Who uh, was the linebacker? I'm trying to. Bl- I can't think about Ooh, Carl Mecklenburg. Team, I can't. Think Tom, Tom Jackson. Jackson. Tom, Tom, Jackson. Nope. Tom Jackson was gone. Tom, <laughs> Tom Jackson was gone. Tom, Tom Jackson. Jackson. You said Tom Jackson. I didn't say Tom, Tom Jackson. Jackson. Shout out to Tom Jackson. I ain't seen him forever. <laughs> the University they of Louisville. Out, man. You know they they on the uh, the light side of ESPN. Yeah, they on the right. streaming. They on the oh, streaming side. Okay. Okay. They, on, they on the ESPN light. <laughs> okay. Well, shout out to him Fine. anyway. Fine, I will concede, and we will move on. Steve Atwater, Hall of Well, of course he's a Hall of Famer. He's been named a Hall of Famer. Anyway. I'm (laughs) saying, though, during those, who is your second person out your mouth? You would say. I'm going to be honest with you. Leroy Butler. So is he going to be a Hall of Famer? Yes. Yeah, probably when he's eligible. Yes. What do you mean when he's eligible? Leroy Butler is eligible. Oh, is he? Okay, we might have to wait a couple more years. But, but why, Steve Atwater is better. Why is so he, he waiting it. then? Why? Why? He wasn't, because he's not as good as Steve he wasn't Atwater. He's good, stop, bro. Stop it, man. He was not. He had very good. Leroy Butler, right. Butler wasn't good? No, he wasn't as good as man. I. Eh. Man, thank you. Stop it. I, now, but then, but I, I, I mean, I got to hold you with no, a No, he was stop. not as good. He knows you agree. If he can say, I was going to say, if he can admit it, you know he wasn't as good because you know he's going to rule. No, it just depends on what you wanted out of a safety. And he revolutionized the up to the scrimmage line safety. He revolutionized up to the scrimmage line safety. Yes, somebody who would play coming down into the box. Oh, no, goodness. yeah, somebody who would play he up had to at run the scrimmage. Reverse. Up at the scrimmage. That's the only thing's working, man. They didn't pass that. They didn't do that much with the other safeties. They had the other safeties back, so they could just yeah. kill the people coming across the middle. I'm with you, man. I, I told you, I will concede. I will concede. I mean, I, I guess Steve at, see, Atwater, by name, is iconic. So Now, that is true. That's what I'm saying. He had iconic moments. And, there, and that's why he goes in. I will concede, gentlemen. I will concede. So now. Damn right you're going to concede. You're wrong. <laughs> boy, ninjas, boy. <laughs> boy, just, boy look at <laughs> Even when you give them to <laughs> that. Oh, boy, so Jango's and flies. Boy, just boy, can't be gracious. Gave they just can't be gracious. Boy, I'm taking him out. Can't, 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 <laughs> can't be gracious. Can't be gracious, boy. You, you Negroes. Y'all are something else. Anyway, so now, NFL honors last night. They were named. And so what I wanted to do was because we, of course, at the beginning of the year, we had our way too early, <laughs> way too early NFL Honors Awards. Yeah, I like we want to see who was right and who was not. Do you gentlemen it. remember your list? Not really. I know one person on my list. I was going to say, I'm sure you I know the one. Oh, the <laughs> most important person on my list. Matter of fact, the MVP on my wait minute, list. Wait, did you not go come over here and take over this? Listen. The so MVP now, of my list. First off. I know I had that. I'm right, about to go live on Facebook, everybody. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a lot going on here today. It's been a lot going on here today. Yeah, Ian and I had to turn around for not. Huh? All for not. Yay! Yes. Right, so everybody we're log into Facebook. <laughs> everybody looks Facebook. And YouTube. YouTube as well. Uh, 
Just subscribe on YouTube. And then go back to Facebook. So, NFL honors do last you remember night. Your list? I do remember my list. I do. I All do I remember is my list. MVP. I, I don't. I have a hard time. So now yeah. for I mean, the MVP. Wait, no, we're not jumping the MVP yet. Oh, well, I mean, that's the one that popped Jesus. up first. You know what I'm saying? Jesus that's the one that popped Christ up first. of Latter Day Saints. I don't, I don't know like no tees, rookies or nothing like that. Like T. So we was talking defensive rookie of the year, comeback player of the year, coach of the year. Well, comeback player of the year was Ryan Tannehill. Assistant yes, coach of the year. So wait, what are you on? Because. I'm on the NFL's website. I'm like, my stuff, look, my <laughs> so stuff is I've not got, coming up. Like, it is, today I've is, got all of their I honors. got Murphy Law going on right now. <laughs> it's like, this is crazy today. Okay, so we're not going to go to uh, unstoppable performance of the year. We're going to start with, we're going to skip assistant coach of the year. They gave it to Greg Roman, clearly the one who revolutionized the Ravens offense. The Ravens offense oh, coordinator, San Francisco, out, just scored. Ties the game up at 10 well, to tied it 10. They're working well, to tie it pending up. the PAT. What you know, those guy? used to be automatic. Yeah, it used to be. Those used to be automatic. No longer. So the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, Went that to was the Calais one. Went Campbell. Yes, I'm quite that's proud the Civic Award. I'm assuming either dealing with the charity or right, just in Woo. general what they do. That went to Calais Campbell of the Jaguars. The Jaguars. The Coach of the Year. It's Jaguars. I do believe we voted on this, right? What we did Coach vote of the on year. this. We did vote on this. Did I we? want to say mine was probably Andrew Reed at the time because they were like seven and zero or something. I had John Harbaugh. Huh? I'm sure you did have John. Maybe not because you. I had guy. I had my, uh, the dude from Pitch, I mean Buffalo. Sean yeah, Sean McDermott. McDermott. Yeah, Sean McDermott. Well, the winner. You remember yours, Mike? No, I sure don't. And the winner was John Harbaugh. Who was yeah, undefeated right. at that point? I probably had John Harbaugh. Mm. It was either yeah, them and mm, 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 mm. I'm just saying that. I probably did. The comeback had... player of the year. Oh, yeah, Bill O'Brien. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. That's interesting. Uh, now, I, mean, I don't, now, I don't start remember Rick who I had. And look, it's in the car somewhere. I'm saying, <laughs> but like the dude literally came in halfway through the season. Comeback player of the year. I think I had Delvin. Did Somebody no. else had the Dalvin Cook. Have? No, because he got have? hurt last year. He got hurt this year. I had Mr. <laughs> Dalvin from Jody. <laughs> Casey, Joe, Joe. <laughs> that was my comeback player. I can't remember who I had. <laughs> I, who else would be involved in that? Because I'm a little. Comeback dude, player, it was hard. Man, I, I wish I had the piece of paper I wrote on the way over here. Mine is the in dude the got the starting job in week it. seven. I'm <laughs> sure somebody had somebody had Andrew Luck. He got the job in week seven. No, nobody had Andrew Luck. Somebody, somebody Luck did, did have. not play a snap this year. But somebody had him. Somebody said he was coming back. Nobody in here, here said that. Yeah, somebody did. Run the tape. What? Run the tape. <laughs> You what heard episode? nobody in his What that. episode is that? <laughs> I don't know. I had to find so it. So, Dalvin Cook, he blew out his knee last year, right? He did. He could have got it. He had an excellent year. Who else got hurt? J.J. Watt. No, he got hurt this year. J.J. Watt has gotten hurt the past yeah, three seasons. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I guess. I mean, the man stole the dude's spot. Like, come back play him. Yeah, I don't listen. I don't, yeah, don't Ryan care. Tannehill. You're going to say no, you don't I'm care saying, about Ryan the comeback Tannehill, player? Tannehill, no, I don't believe. And I'm gonna be, I was quite surprised because I just knew they were going to give it to Garoppolo. I just knew he they were going to give it to He could have got it, too. I just knew they were going to give it to Garoppolo. He definitely could have got and it. they did not. So, uh, but so we were wrong Christy. on that one. Uh, so next is the Defensive Rookie of the Year. I yeah. think I might have called this one. It was who a Bosa person? Who I think was I it? called. It was Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa. I didn't say Nick Bosa. I don't remember who I said. I, I think said I said some Nick dude. Bosa. They had a whole bunch of sacks who played for Tampa Bay, but uh, I think he, he went wasn't cold. a rookie. That was Barry. So who Barnett. did I say? That was Shaq. Shaq. I said Shaq. But that was for not for rookie of the year. That was for defensive okay, player well, of the year. Okay, Shaq. Because uh, I said the same thing for defensive player of the year, and he just it went away. <laughs> so yeah, Nick Bosa. Uh, how you feel about that, dog? Nick Bosa, San Francisco's defensive end, defensive rookie. He deserve, He definitely deserved the award. I'm not. Uh, my issue with Nick Bosa is, has nothing to do with football. 
has nothing to do. MAGA! What issue do you have with him? Nick Bosa is a MAGA supporter. Okay. Um, and it's not so much that I have an issue with that because part of that is he's being, he's just young and I mean he feels the way he feels when I mean he's entitled to feel the way the way and he feels. There's several million people that agree with him. Absolutely. Um, so I guess I could I take that back. I don't have an issue with that. I was I was intrigued into knowing how he and Richard Sherman got along and how they're able to uh, uh, coexist. Uh, considering the very, very public and I completely mean, opposite positions they I hold. would have to stop you there. Do we know the political affiliation of Richard Sherman? Yes. What do we know about his political We know his social affiliations and his social Ooh. justice um, leanings, mm -hmm. but I don't remember anything about him politically. Well, then please look it up. But yes, he uh, cause I could see him being a MAGA supporter. No, no, I mean I, <laughs> I could see him not really caring about who his coworker votes oh, for. Oh no, yeah. he made that very clear that and why and, and why they would have to have strife in the locker room just because this dude likes Trump. Cause I was looking at some of those old tweets that they were talking about and saying it was so racist and all that. I mean, I guess. You know, but I mean, it wasn't the worst stuff. I, I mean, it's, it like I said, it's just a sign of immaturity. He's no Colby Covington, and Colby Covington's trolling. It's a sign. It's a sign of immaturity. Why is it's it? It's a sign, a sign of immaturity because he's a Republican and he supports Donald Trump. No, because a mature person knows that there are certain things you just simply don't re regurgitate simply because it's not good for your brain. Colin Kaepernick regurgitates things. It hasn't been good for his brain, but nobody calls him immature. I didn't say he was immature. I said it's a matter of maturity. Oh, okay, so so okay, so well, that's okay. Saying the same thing, right? So you're saying that Nick Bose is very mature for doing that, or are you saying he's immature? I'm saying that there is a maturation process or a level in the maturation process he hadn't reached yet. Okay, so so when Colin Kaepernick speaks out about things, it's a, it's it's not a maturation problem, right? No, is it or is it not? That's because you agree with Colin no, Kaepernick, no, but since you no, disagree with Nick Bosa. How about you let me explain to you what I'm saying? Don't tell me what I'm saying. You got to tell us you ain't said what you're saying. Well, because I was trying to let you finish where you was going with it. Come on. So on. now, what I'm saying is mm -hmm. Kaepernick, what Kaepernick did, some might say, was mm, not very smart. It certainly wasn't good for business. It certainly wasn't good for his brand. And as you can see, it ended up getting, it, it, it ended up causing him not to be in the league anymore and other people think he's flat i say out that it, i say it and some people do i'm talking I'm, it's not about your position i'm not my issue is not i told i was really more concerned with how well not concerned i was really more intrigued with how they got along but i actually in the process of being intrigued by that i saw richard sherman say man this is a football thing like like as long as we win in games as long as he go out there every sunday and perform i'm not that concerned so uh Bill Belichick gave a multi murderer forty million dollars guaranteed. Yeah, but he didn't know it was a multi murderer then. Thank you. Hey, you come on. Like but he you knew, knew he was crazy. crazy. Come on, did you watch it last night? You knew he was crazy. I watched some of the Oh, you bastard. The TV I didn't one. get a chance to watch Not it. Not the TV I, one. I'm talking about the one that's on Netflix. I know I was the one you're talking about. I was talking about the other one. Do your homework. It's probably the same one on ID. I was out with that no, boy Lero last night. Same one. For a little bit. You say what? I was out with that boy Laro last night for a while. Oh, yeah, I oh. knew you were going to do that. But, you know. When you Good said you were going to watch it, I mean, I that's okay. But I'm just saying, you told me you were going to watch it. I know. I, yes, I did. I had plans to, but I it didn't. Lie. Well, we say we do a lot of things on this show, and we don't quite do them. Whoa. Uh, um, but, yes, so, no. It's a certain level. I was just intrigued by that. But like I said, as far as football goes, though, yeah, he deserved it. He deserved it. By all means. Yeah. I he was by far the best defensive rookie in the league. Yeah, he's a hell of a player. It was absolutely no doubt. Somehow how I State. do think it's pretty cool that he and his brother both won defensive rookie of the year. It really how is. How does that feel as a father? Oh, the Bosa household. Yeah, like, oh my God. Have you seen their father? What's he look like? He he accepted the award for Nick Bosa last year. What did he look like? He looked like Nick Bosa. He did, okay. An older version. Okay, so we don't he have looked, to. He looked like 
let me not do that. Was see, he a big dude? See, I was getting ready to do something that was a level of maturity I need not go right. to. What do you mean? Look like what? <laughs> I was going to say he looked like quite a tool, but that's not fair. Why are you going to just say that? That's, that's like why I said I'm not going to do that. But that's then, not yeah. fair. Uh, you're prejudging but, people. Now, was he 6'3", uh, 245, oh. or do we need to oh, look for Oh, he's a big man. Oh, okay. oh yes, he's so, definitely a big so man. So we don't have to look for a swole mailman. In a small town, Ohio. No, 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 no. You definitely go, hmm. Okay. What did he used to do? Yeah, all right, cool. Good stuff. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. So, what? who won? Let's move it on, move it on, move it on. What was the other ones? That was Defensive Rookie of the Year, which was Nick Bosa. So, Offensive Rookie of the Year was, not yet. Kyler Murray. I definitely had that one. I disagree. Well, I think I'm, I don't. I think I probably had them too, but I don't know. I mean, who he's a quarterback. Who would you? Think Josh Jacobs had an incredible year. Had him on my oh, fantasy yeah, from, football from team. Oakland, from an Oakland? incredible year, yeah, and right. played for most of the year. Like, nah, he didn't know. He yes, he did, bro. The end, that man he carried so. that team. Like carried that team and <clears throat> helped me out as well. But nobody cares about that except for me. But, yeah, so it went to Kyler Murray, I guess. You know, quarterback, played all 16 games. Appears to be a franchise quarterback. That's good. But I'd give it to the running back. I think, Ahmad, I remember you had Kyler Murray. Mm-hmm, I did. You, you said you knew he was going to win it, but you didn't think he should. No, no, not yeah. necessarily. Uh, I didn't think. Um, but, you know, as it turns out, the guys he was up against – uh, I'm trying to figure out who in the world I had. Uh, no, I'm saying you took no, Kyler no, Murray. No, but no, I did, but yeah, but j- just because they always give it to right, a quarterback. we knew we knew exactly who that was going to. They always give it to a quarterback, and he was set up for it. Jacobs would have had to run for two thousand yards yeah, and caught a thousand. <laughs> yeah, people just don't appreciate a running back and what they have to do. Oh, oh. Now Saquon Barkley got it in nineteen, did he not? Yeah, Saquon Barkley. Yeah, yes, but I think yes, he yes. he was kind of set up for that. Plus, the, I don't know, think any other that. quarterback finished the year. They're saying the main reason is that he played all sixteen games. But he more well, than also doubled you got to remember the quarterback Josh Jacobs um, doubled the votes of Josh Jacobs. Right. Um, what you call it? Uh, got tackled by the police officer. Uh, <laughs> Baker Mayfield. Baker oh, Mayfield. Baker. Baker Mayfield. You know he only played eight games last year. Uh, who else? Lamar Jackson, although he he, he could have went so many ways looking for Baker. Hey, uh, uh, and no, the no. first thing I don't that, came honest, up with that was to be spiteful. It definitely was to be state shady and spiteful. <laughs> okay, uh, you were past a few things. Listen, to brother, get to that I'm a always <laughs> I'm a always own up to my foolishness. That was definitely to be spiteful. That was <laughs> that was one hundred percent shade, brother. That was one hundred percent shade. Let them have that one. Oh um, man, look. What else? Oh, yes. So, uh, although Lamar Jackson led his team to a division title, he, I wouldn't say he put up rookie of the year numbers by any means. So, yeah, Saquon, Saquon was was the perennial favorite and, of course, the eventual winner. Plus, he was the New York Giant. Which, yeah. doesn't, which definitely doesn't hurt. All right, moving on. Moving Defensive on. player of the year. Yeah, end up going to. this. I know Gamal had this guy. Did he? Kamal, do you remember who you had for defensive player of the year at the way too early NFL honors awards? Clearly, <laughs> the garage department way too early, way too early uh, NFL honors awards. Who? Who? Do you, Garrett? No, that that's who I think I chose was Miles Garrett, but I don't remember. Not for player of the oh, year. Oh yeah, no, 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 that'd no. have been rookie. No, no, no. I or, chose Miles Garrett. Also, I remember that. We okay, had you took Miles over this, I, I, I so did who, take I Miles. Chose, who did I have? We but, then start, but then he started. But then he started. You had the eventual winner. Really? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, Gilmore. Yes, you yes, had yes. Gilmore. Yes. D, who would you have? I'm I had trying Gilmore. to remember. Because I remember me and Amaya were going at it about Miles. I guess we should have done our homework. Huh? <laughs> but well, I mean, either way, shoot, didn't have Stephon Gilmore. I didn't expect it to go to cornerback anyway. Well, no, I I, just, I, I, I had Stephon Gilmore as a favorite, but I went with Shaquille Barrett because at the time, Shaquille Barrett was on fire. But the Patriots' D fell off as well, so Gilmore ends Aaron you know, Donald's two-year run. I actually disagree with the award because I think it should have gone to Chandler Jones, but 
Man, give him more He's the first pitcher player to win the award. He earned it by sharing the league lead with six interceptions and topping the passes defended leaderboard with 20. Chandler Jones had 19 sacks. 19. That's a lot of sacks. That's three and a half away from the record. <laughs> the man had 19 sacks. You know, well. Didn't break that record, though. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> and so who he played for, the. That, I think that had a lot to do with it, too. He Play plays for the, for the Cardinals. Yeah, yes. them sacks didn't mean too much. Oh, yeah, dude, you're not going to sit there and say sacks don't mean too much. Playing for the Cardinals. Got just, like the, just like 50 points don't mean much when you lose. What? To your argument. No, no, 50 points mean nothing when you lose. Okay, so when your team loses. But if you average points 50 wow. points a game, that means something. When you average 50 points? What I'm saying is that he totaled, he totaled 19 sacks for the season. That's impressive. Not to mention, it's not very easy. But they were losing. See, you're not going to do that. You're not going to be disrespectful. Because even if you're losing, that's what makes it even more impressive. Because if you're losing, guess what that other team is doing? Running the ball. No, no, so if you're like, sacking we could the bomb the crap no. out of these dudes, yo. <laughs> I know. So if that's you're sacking the quarterback even though you're losing, yeah, man, you got there. You got there. They're out there bombing your safeties and your second. You out there working, man. A lot. You out there working. You he didn't. There I working. Pro, he didn't sack Russell Wilson. Oh, he may have. I don't know. We we'll have to look that up. But right now, because they blew the wow. crap out the I'm doors off them. Sure. Anyway, so offensive player of the year. Yes, sir. Mm, who Michael that? Thomas. Had to be him because he was already on pace. To That's not who I had. I remember who I had. I had Delvin Cook, and then I had an honorable mention, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, I think I might have had Christian McCaffrey. I know you had Christian McCaffrey because I, I told McCaffrey. you, because you you revealed before I did it, I told you, Christian, because that very Sunday we did it, Christian McCaffrey put an outstanding yeah, game up. On and yard, I told you, on the ground, I'll change him my vote. <laughs> I think I did, man. He got shafted on a few. Uh, Few of these awards, he's nowhere to be found, man. Oh no, he won. Uh, what did he win? He won something. Something voted on though. Like a play, right? Yeah, something yeah, like that. No, no, like a uh, clutch player or something. The, the 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 players voted something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, they got to turn player. everything into the MTV music music awards now. I so, say clutch Art Rooney Sportsmanship Award that went to Adrian Peterson. Yeah, I, yeah, I That's didn't know. That's weird. I, Didn't even say. They, they even say play. because he is a gentleman on and off the field. Celebration okay. of the year went to the Seahawks. Oh, <laughs> they have a celebration uh, of the year. And guess what it was Fantasy for? It was not for the one. Love. No. No? It no, was for it their was NSYNC a, rendition. Bye, bye, like, bye. So you know what that's about. What's that about? Christian McCaffrey. People of a different hue Christian recognized McCaffrey. Bye Bye Bye. They did not recognize If It Isn't Love. Speaking of a different hue, Fantasy Player of the Year, that went to Christian McCaffrey. Yes, it did. There you go. Fantasy Player of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at that, man? That was like Bitcoin of the Year. No, look at the next award. The next award is the Anything But Ordinary Player of the Year. <laughs> Wow. And what that went to that? Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, what do you have to do ordinary? to earn that? What do you have to they do to be in the league for 17 explaining. years? They were explaining the defensive player of the year, what that was about, what you had to do. They stopped explaining. You just have to be in the league for like 17 years. Okay, so back to the offensive player of the year. I had Chris McCaffrey wrong. Did anybody have Michael Tom? I don't believe anybody did. Mm-mm. <laughs> Oh, he broke several records. Set the NFL record for single season receptions. Who is this now? Michael Thomas. No, what? What? Uh, no, like what award was this? Offensive player of the year. Oh, I had, I had, uh, what's his name? Passes. I had Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I think you did. Because I said he was going to double. He was going to get offensive player of the year, and he was going to get uh, MVP. Wow, yeah. that boy. What? That ain't right. That can't be right. What's Why that? That, right? that boy. <laughs> Single season record catching 149 passes for 1,700 yards? Yes. You think he wasn't going to get it? <laughs> These are the most receiving yards since Julio Jones is 18 six years ago. Which still ain't got nothing on, on the Calvin Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> still is 200 short of Calvin Johnson. But did Johnson's. not have nearly as many catches. This dude had 150 catches. Yep. Who? Yeah. I want to do the math on that. but Who, I, I Calvin don't. Johnson? Yeah. He had a hundred. He had a hundred uh, 
yards a game. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then of course, in most game, in some games, he had like two hundred yards. Okay. Of course, the unanimous, the only the three, second unanimous. time off three catches in the history of the the MVP voting, unanimously named Mal Mizzle. Jackson. Mal Mizzle, that's who you name MVP. Who Gamal? Right I can honestly say Gamal said since week two, he was MVP. And now, granted. Week two was extremely super, super early, early. early. mid-season. But he on. said in week two that Lamar Jackson was MVP. And Lamar Jackson continued to make a case every week and thus proved Maul Mizzle correct. Finished with 3,000 yards passing, 36 passing touchdowns. That's madness. <laughs> I had, I know for certain I had Patrick and Mahomes. And I believe that had Patrick Mahomes not missed two games due to a dislocated knee, he, still he would have, have you crazy, he no, would the, have pulled bro, it out. This boy, Lamar out. Jackson, you have, they have not seen what Lamar, oh, they have not seen what Lamar Jackson was out there doing. Yes, it had not have. been done. Yes, they have. It had not been, no, not to that degree. You remember when Cam Newton won MVP? Yes, I do. And Cam Newton wasn't throwing that. Why Cam Newton. You better look. Cam Newton ain't have twelve hundred yards rushing. Cam Newton went five, fifteen and one. I believe Cam Newton had what thirty? What did he have? Thirty two, thirty three, thirty four touchdowns. Thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty. He had uh, thirty nine. He had I don't remember what four thousand yards passing. That might be a bit. That wow. Might be a bit much. That might be a bit much. I think that might be. Uh, Four I'm not looking at it. I'm, we'll I'm, a, I'm guessing here. Did he win the Super Bowl? I'm, I mean, the MVP. Win the Super Bowl. The year they lost the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> so, Super Bowl 50. So, five seasons ago, four seasons ago? That was 2015. 2015. What was his stats in 2015? He probably 3,500 uh, yards. Oh, my God. Where's the Did push off? Did you see off? that push off? Where's Jesus the push Christ. off on that? I'm tight end, bro. This is all we do is push oh, off. Oh, I think they called it. Where's the push yeah, off Yeah, you got to call that, man. Oh, they so late, though. The man had already celebrated, Look, bro. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he, pushed the man. he pushed the man dead in his face. What? Get off uh, That little lower in the face. Man, man, that's just hand fighting. Nah, bro. that ain't no hand fighting. You should be able to do that, that to me, baby. That is more... Uh, that is more... Not excusable than the one that y'all say that Kyle Rudolph, Kyle Rudolph didn't push. Man, off. please, Kyle nah, Rudolph yeah, pushed Kyle off. Kyle Rudolph was the bad one. It was extended. This, look, look, he just kept it extended. He was like, all right, get off. Yeah, because uh, that's a bonus though, call. Man, if you didn't call that, uh, man, please. This Kyle Rudolph, he, he threw it's that a physical flag position, hard, people. Too, man. He threw that flag hard. Okay, so Cam Newton did not quite throw for 4,000 uh, yards. You were able to find him? Yes. However, he did throw for 35 touchdowns. That's not 36. Oh, stop it, All I'm y'all. saying is it wasn't 36. <laughs> I said it hadn't been done. You said it had. It clearly hadn't been done. Oh, 36 touchdowns have been done How many done yards did he run for? No, yeah, that has, but this part hasn't. He did not run. And it's run, in combination. The man ran more that. than running backs. He did not run for 1,000 yards. He most certainly did He didn't not run for 1,000? No, he ran for 636. He didn't run for 11,000? 10 touchdowns. 10 touchdowns. Bro, this Lamar Jackson was crazy. Yeah, this it was, was crazy. Lamar Jackson. How many rushing touchdowns he had? Who, Lamar Jackson? Yeah. I don't know. How many did he have? Uh, seven touchdowns on the ground. Yeah, well, Cam I mean, Newton Cam, 10. Cam Newton's big, so he gets a lot so of So he had 40. Cam Newton three. had 45 touchdowns. But I'm saying he had 43 his second year in playing. Oh, stop it. It wasn't his second year? No, I'm saying. What does that mean? What you mean? What? Uh, what that's great. It's good. It, it's, it's good. good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's never been done. What you mean? 12? To not have 40 and it's. To have no, what? To run 1,200 1, yards. yards and to throw for 3,000. 1,200 yards and, and 3,000 yards passing. Cam Newton threw for 4,000 yards his rookie year. How many run for? I don't know. Hold on. Not no. His I know year, he ran for 706. He's his never hit 1,000. I mean, but come on now. That, 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 all I'm saying is that's amazing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying, saying it's not amazing. Trans, you said that's about. amazing. The, the other said he, they, he did things that nobody's ever seen before. 
We've seen this before. Michael Vick has run for a thousand yards before, but he as didn't a quarterback. For, but he didn't throw for fifteen hundred yards. Twelve touchdowns. I'm saying Cam Newton's MVP year was impressive. He threw for thirty eight hundred yards, but he, he didn't had thirty five for... touchdowns. He went fifteen and one, something Lamar Jackson did not do. So I mean, of course, he went thirteen and three. Though exactly, we can pick and choose which parts of the stats we want to make and put in their favor. This was Cam's. This was no. was. There's one stat. There's one. It's, it's one. Season. I can tell you what else Cam Newton did. You're putting four of his seasons together. I can tell you what else Cam Newton did. I can what tell was, you what else. What were the leading I rushers? I can tell you what else Cam what, Newton what did. Was, what is the Henry leading rusher? Won the league. I know, you know, but what was it? You know what he else about Cam to say? Did? Make it to the Super Bowl. That's 19. right. What did he do, Ahmad? Mm, he made it to the Super Bowl. He so, made it to the Super Bowl. And what happened in that Super Bowl? He, he lost. He hey, lost. hey, hey. But I'm, it's better because he, he ain't got look like no Hey, man, I'm looking up Michael Vick's stats, trying to find out and trying to compare him. And they, they got two years missing. What's going on with this? You uh, know why two years are missing. What, what they call that? Levin, Levin what? what? Hold on. This is, we got to investigate. Levin you know why two years are missing? We got to investigate like Dr. Umar Johnson. <laughs> Levin words. Investigating the Kobe crash. I'm Did saying, we gotta <laughs> investigate. Did he ever get to how much? No. Okay. So, what was the list of leading rushers this year? What's the leading rusher list? Uh, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Uh -huh. Eighteen hundred. Okay. Did he have eighteen? Yeah. yeah he had eighteen. He 19. finished with eighteen hundred. Yeah, okay. okay. Who else? Um, Dalvin Cook would have been up there. Yeah, he missed a few games. No, uh, Christian McCaffrey ran for a thousand. And caught for a thousand. thousand. And so he ran just for a thousand? He ran for like. Well, of course, over a thousand, but. Michael Vick's best rushing season was 1,039. Yeah. So it is Derrick Henry with. And how many yards did 1540. Uh, how many yards did uh, Nick Chubb. <laughs> With fourteen ninety four, mm -hmm. yeah, fifteen four. I told you, what no eight. Nobody rushed for eighteen hundred yards no more. Christian McCaffrey with thirteen eighty seven. Mm -hmm. Crop top himself, Ezekiel Elliott with thirteen. Who said nobody rushed for eighteen fifty seven? Demarco Murray did a couple years ago. That was several years ago. Yeah, that was Christian McCaffrey with twelve thirty. That was four or five years ago. That's top five. 1,230 is the fifth best. And, and Lamar that? Miller ran nope. for – Lamar Miller would basically be six. Tw Lamar Miller? He I mean, got Lamar, hurt. You, wow, thank you, Jesus. Lamar Jackson is six with 1,206. Lamar Jackson? Yeah, well, yeah, Lamar – Lamar Jackson has, is the sixth best about rusher what last year. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's Lamar what I'm saying. Uh, Leonard Fournette, that's... who killed me in fantasy. So, Josh Jacobs, who – Help me in fantasy. Joe Mixon, <laughs> who helped me in fantasy. So that's what I'm saying. Lost to, I believe, in the playoffs. This, this man. Marco Murray ran for 1,845 what yards. In 2014. In 2014. Okay. Six years ago. Six seasons ago. That's a football generation. Yeah, I'm it saying. Such an three analogy. years. It's far from a you know, you not play, Does the average person not play for three years in the football and in NFL? He actually got the ball 392 times. That's crazy for so this crazy. year. crazy. And that's why that's he why no he longer quit. played. Yeah, that's why he quit after that. No, he played two more years in Tennessee. No, nah, he played three more years. What did he do? Uh, he did. He had 1,287 in Tennessee. I would say he had 1,200 in Tennessee. But uh, it quickly. And he took a year off. He didn't take a year off. Nah, this boy took a year off. That boy went from 1,800 to 702. He played 15 games off. and only started eight. Yeah, that's a year off. He didn't take a year off. He was just okay, sharing well, time. He, okay, he didn't take a year off. With, uh, I'm saying that boy went from 1,800. I was just saying. the game. To eight. Lamar Jackson was top five lead. in passing. Top five in rushing. And top, top five six, in top, six. top ten in rushing. Top ten in rushing. Yeah, it was, it was a great year, man. It was a great year. It was an MVP year. Mm -hmm. Now, if you add two more games with Patrick Mahomes' average, he would have surpassed what he did in passing. Still not rushing though. Patrick oh, cool. Mahomes threw okay, for four thousand yards. Okay, he's a quarterback. Yards. So what? Patrick he rushed for a thousand yards. He already he did rush for a thousand yards though. He already what did he rush for? Twelve hundred yards. Which is a thousand two hundred yards. But see now you that's have to look up in the league. Attempts, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's, if you're throwing the ball, that's sixth 50 in the times, league. Mark Jackson's throwing the ball twenty six times. That's sixth in the league. That's sixth in the league. Okay. What you mean, okay? As a quarterback, you're saying okay? Well, now, what that means is he runs the ball a lot. As but a quarterback, he, he that's what it means. How well. many attempts did he have? Not 400. 
Of no. course not. He's a quarterback. I'm he, just saying. He, he didn't, better not run the ball 400 times. He didn't have it as many times as these running backs did. And he only and he still was sixth in the league. Right. That's also because he has the option of throwing the ball. Running backs don't line up behind the center. They can throw then, the ball? They don't line up behind the center every play. But they line up with behind the, the quarterback. Option to throw the ball. If, once they get the ball, they can throw the ball. No, and not once they get the ball. They first off, it has to be behind the uh, behind Mark the line had of scrimmage. 176 attempts. <sighs> His starting running back, who was Marcus Ingram, had 202 attempts. Ran for 1,018 yards. Ooh. <laughs> Ten touchdowns. He ran more than the running back. 67 yards per game for Mark Ingram. Lamar Jackson, 80. Derrick Henry, 102. Listen, gentlemen, y'all not hearing what Goodness. I'm saying to you. What are you saying? Tell He's him what a quarterback. Saying. Tell him why you mad, son. <laughs> He's a quarterback. Having the option to throw and pass, of course, opens the field up to him. But you okay? In a but way, that's yeah. No, everybody. No, 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 that's no, that's, that's Colin Murray. That's Josh freaking no, Allen. Not. That's yeah, Ryan no, Tannehill. That's um, Deshaun Watson. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's Ka- no. Ka- what the, I'm the, talking about. That's even Tom Brady. Tom Pat Brady could easily rush for a thousand yards if he could get some speed. Uh, <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> nobody expects that. Because nobody. Mark. But the, he need to go to Don BB speed camp. The ability. The ability. I don't think that could help him. He need to go get on some heels and everything else in between. Get some of them. What is it? Remember those the shoes? Uh, the other the, uh, the uh, frog shoes. Them, yeah, them. the shoes that had the, the thing on the. What was them things called? <laughs> we supposed to be up our vertical. All they did was give you cramps. Oh, the, uh, the, uh, the Duncan jump, shoes. The oh, jump shoes. shoe, yeah. Something yeah. like that. I forgot what that is the called. The frog. Kerbe used to get down with them things, too. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, he did. He was, he was one of the few people I knew in Boston. Thing. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Kerbe. Uh, Gentlemen. Deshaun Watson ran for 413 yards. <laughs> He should have ran for eight. Listen, y'all are not listening to what I'm saying to you. Based on the fact that he plays quarterback, he's a very fast person with the option to throw and pass. The Kyler field ran for 500 yards. The field is open to him differently from a running back. So, so what? He ran for more yards than his running back. He also has more options than a running back has. But the, my point is that he ran for more yards than a lot of 26. I others. was going to say more than three-fourths of the league. Yes, he did. He was an, If he was a running back, his yardage would have put him as an elite running when back. When Michael Vick ran for 1,000 yards, where was he in rushing? And all I'm saying, he was probably he wasn't six. That high. He wasn't six. He wasn't because he only ran for 1,039. He wasn't sixth in the league. All I'm is that he wasn't doing that and the passing. How many did he throw for? 3, and the passing, yards. which is why I was voting for Christian McCaffrey for MVP. That because he did the rushing I'm talking and about, the receiving. I'm talking about Lamar Jackson. Uh, yeah, is he, like 3,200, almost 3,500. Okay, so what is he in passing with 3,500? Vic threw for 2,474 that year. That's still almost four thousand. That's top ten. And twenty touchdowns. So no, nah, his 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 year didn't compare to Lamar Jackson. It didn't compare. That who is this doing the halftime show? Shakira and J Lo. Sha- Shakira. Shakira. Is this what the best Jay Z can do for us? This is what Jay Z can do. His role, with. Shakira. This is, this That's because Beyonce is a Shakira fan. I'm a Remember, she loves Shakira. But no, they had You're other looking concerts. At inclusion. They had hey, pregame concerts. We are past. Counted. We are and past the point of kneeling, gentlemen. No, 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 no. It, it, it's not about the no, race no. of the lady. No, no. What I'm saying is. And like she's really playing that guitar. To Go show on. that we are past the point it's of It's not even plugged in. <laughs> to show that we it's are past. It's a wireless past guitar, yo. A wireless guitar. To show Why hasn't she moved her hand on the frets? Because she's playing the same chord the whole time. Yeah, she's not playing any chord. The then reason, she takes her guitar off. And, the okay, reason we are past the point of kneeling. <laughs> She's, it wasn't plugged in. His one is up. <laughs> a true sign that we are past the point of kneeling is to have two Latinas performing, headlining Who's the, the Super Latina? Bowl. J-Lo, boy. J-Lo? Like, yeah, Jennifer Lopez. What did J-Lo do? I, I agree. 100%. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, what did you do? She's the halftime. She's so going to be Shakira and J-Lo? Yes. I mean, they're... Okay. 
Exactly. I mean, you know. Okay, I mean, you know, Ariana Grande is the hot Latina lady now. They could have got, yeah, they could have got Selena Gomez too. Ooh, nah, she's yeah. like a Disney artist. I don't even know who y'all are talking who about. Who you think know. Ariana Grande is? She was a Nickelodeon artist. Yeah, but she surpassed that. This boy, Jameis Winston. Ariana Grande be on the radio. I know it was slinging that rock, wasn't he? Who? It didn't matter who it yeah, went I was to. I say, the problem is that he just was slinging that rock. Uh, hey, you know that's what, what he was doing. He was slinging the rock. 5,000 yards, who did? bro. And 30 Jameis touchdowns. Winston. Oh yeah, he did. Like he said, if you don't count his interceptions, you know. Did, did you see the meme last night where they had uh, Jameis Winston for defensive MVP? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not. Nice. I that's started hilarious. to repost that, but that I, is I hilarious. Fell asleep. He got that award though, but he only started seven games. Like that's gonna kind of inflate your stuff, right? Who, what happened? Why he got comeback? It's gonna inflate his average. average. That's it. It's just, it's just gonna inflate your average. And passer rating. Let all quarterbacks in yards per pass attempt, yards per pass completion, uh, adjusted yards per attempt. Well, he had yards per for the attempt. minimum. Who is this? Adjusted is this Nelly? Nelly? No, that's no. not Nelly. This is somebody with a do rag on, though, like no. in 2002. That's uh, Joe Ellis. Button. Man, Joe stop. Button. <laughs> anyway, so uh, first off, let me let the people know you are listening to the Super Bowl edition of the Garage Apartment. We are here each and every Sunday night. I'm Sean Paul. He's speaking Spanish. Oh, no. You know what that probably is? That's uh, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Oh. I love bad Sean Bunny. Paul. Yeah, Bad Bunny. We are here each and every Sunday night. And starting next Sunday, you guys have asked for it. We can go ahead and just announce it now. You've asked for it. You've you get asked what for you it. And we are giving it to you. We are now extending the garage apartment one hour. We are now from 6 to 8 hey. Central Standard Time. 6 to 8 we on that Central Standard Time. We on that prime time. We, we graciously thank each and every one of you all for the love and support for checking us out each and every Sunday night. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our website, thegarageapt.com. We are actually working on some great stuff with that coming real soon. Real so soon. please stay tuned. Oh, look at the bars. So now, because we have kind of went off the rails quite a bit today. Yeah, I still got a lot more stats there, man. Yeah, I mean, we, but you know, I mean, we we're gonna go off the rails. Yeah. Well, James yeah, we, we, started, we started off the rails today. We, yes, we, we did. did. It was the whole thing was off the rails, but it you know, was. we've been, you know. So we've been good, and we've been entertaining. Drew Brees me. completed seventy-five out of every hundred pass. I'm glad you brought up Drew Brees because guess what? It is time for it is time for our that is absurd. Our weekly update on Bootygate. <laughs> Bootygate. <laughs> Bootygate. I should have made a song for that. Nah, we should just play booty, 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 we'll booty, booty rocking everywhere. I got something in mind. We we'll have something for you next week. You got something in mind for next yeah, week? Yeah, man. Damn, uh, Shakira was throwing that crotch, the though. The Revenge of the Booty Warrior, yeah, she man. Always does. She was throwing that box. So now, oh, my God. Wow. What are we doing right now? That's, That's what, what she, she was doing. Like literally a, a box, bro. Yeah. Literally. She, she, box. she was, she was throwing that box, yo. Yeah, it's your mind out together. What? Oh, she, she literally threw a box? Literally yeah, threw a literally box. Threw oh, see, box. I didn't see. I wasn't looking. I, okay. That, that's why we tell you. Get your mind. <laughs> well, no, no. I'm going to be honest with you. I had to consider the source. <laughs> and looking who it <laughs> came from, I just knew. Like I that, just boy. knew what he meant. What? <laughs> oh. Like somebody I love. I mean, Anywho. Yeah, so he now, meant literally a box. Yeah, I see. But not not like a cardboard box. Okay, well, let's move like on. Like a vagina box. Oh, he did mean a box. <laughs> <laughs> J-Lo's on the he screen. He did mean a box. Yeah, he did. That's you know, what I was you know, Consider the source. You know you're talking about. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Your suspicion was right. Uh, Come on, so, now. See, y'all had Don't me. think you crazy. Because y'all so had me. Y'all had me second guess. You know who you were talking about. I mean, man. J-Lo coming out throwing box. So oh, I mean, my gosh. I mean, it's, 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 it's a box show. So now. Booty game. Box seats. Definitely an this chap stuff. Yeah. Those who don't know what we're referring to, we are referring to the craziness that is the New York, the New York, oh, Saints, New York Saints, the New Orleans Saints who that, involvement who with the New Orleans na 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 Knackers, the New York Knackers, the, the Saint Knackers. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I was combining two people. Yeah. The New Orleans nigga ain't. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all hear that craziness? Was that I not went crazy? back and watched it. That was a. Do you think she really meant Los Angeles? I niggers? can't think no, she meant I don't. that. Like, she I really literally don't. got them confused. I really think she did. Truly, it truly was a slip. Like, you could not have done that. Yeah, if, uh, I do. But it does make me ask the question why are How you thinking about the Knicks? No, that? no. Why are you thinking about oh. the Knicks at all? Maybe her boyfriend or dad's a Knicks fan, so that's what you she can you cannot basketball. confuse Kobe Bryant for ever being associated with the Knicks. If you're some far regular white girl don't know anything about basketball, she's an MSNBC reporter. That's it's not as like far it was, away as you can get. It's though, not like right? it was Michelle Tafoya. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it was Jamel Hill. It was some girl on MSNBC who probably shouldn't have been reporting on that anyway. She wasn't thinking about. And are we going to talk about? She wasn't thinking about no I Knickerbockers. Mean, you know, shut up. Who says the Knickerbockers? God bless the man. But after we get out of a booty gay, we got to. We're ODing with this. <laughs> with which one? <laughs> with, with the Kobe stuff. And it's going to get worse, bro. It is not let's, over. Let's move this. Oh, yeah. That's We're what ODing with this hard. And then the Negro conspiracy theory it is not are over. killing me. Trust me. We're going to get there in just a oh, second. Oh, you so people. Now, before we get there. You people are something Let's else. please Ooh, how you update you folks. J-Lo throwing boxes. That's a 50-some-odd-year-old woman. Uh, is she 50 something? Yeah, she's yeah. 50. As in plus. above 50? Uh huh. Man, look Remember, at she was a fly girl. She was already about 35 then. Look at the she amazing. The boy, maybe. plastic is amazing, right? I don't know if that's plastic. Uh, nah, that's plastic, yo. Yeah. Plastic is not biodegradable. Is it? She always been kind of built plastic. like that. I ain't going to put it. It's she's, silicone. She was built like that before everything was plastic. She where? Had a, she had huh? a, where? You mean where? J Lo's been built like that, man. Like, this woman then had multiple children mm -hmm. at the same time. She's got multiple trainers. Do you uh, honestly think? So is Beyonce. Okay. Dietitians. Do you honestly think that it goes back to that? That it, it that it snaps back to that? Okay. If you got you nothing to tough. do but work out, yeah. You get a little, oh, that was cool. Stop. She you might have had a up. little tummy tuck, a tummy tuck or something. That's not plastic. That's your own yeah, stuff. She didn't have to get nothing put in her butt. Mm -hmm. And she never got no. Uh, That's where we go with she, she never got breasts. She box, Somebody yeah. might beg. I mean, look at it. She flat chest. Man, how many times you gonna keep saying this woman throwing box? Cause she's throwing box. Speaking yeah. of throwing box, the New Orleans Saints are attempting to shield hundreds of emails that allegedly show the team executives advised the public relations they weren't of throwing the box. They not throwing box. Of New Orleans, no. they throwing sexual uh, abuse. They throwing swords. Oh God. They, they throwing swords out there. Actually, they throwing shade. <laughs> Whoa, the light went off. Anyway, that's what we revealed last week, though. So now, yes, to update you folks, because again, we are off the rails, but that's all right. It's the Super Bowl. The it's Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday, man, and this is the garage apartment. And so this is what happens from time to time. So now, the New Orleans Saints. We we told you guys on last week, the New Orleans Saints. What was that logic? Shamelessly were involved in not a cover up, but a what is the scandal word I'm for? A scandal involving the Dolagais of is it what is the Archdiocese? The, I, what the I say, Dolagais? Where did this man? Like, where did that come from? Like, I think you said Dolomite. I thought he said this. <laughs> you said Dolomite. What did you just make up a word? Bro? Is Dolagais not a word? Is it not Dolagais? I don't know. I've heard that word before. It's I mean, poultry like, guys? No, it's di it's, it's the archdiocese or the yeah. diocese. Dias, not dialysis. No, oh, not, no, not no, dialysis. no, no, no. That's totally. <laughs> that's going the other way. We trying to save people. You notice she also has a flesh-colored body suit. I like how this has yeah. gotten your full attention when I am yeah. trying to throw this no. booty gate to you, sir. He's I'm watching booty gate. Booty gate. Pause. <laughs> I'm watching booty gate right yeah, now. Pause. Absolutely <laughs> pause. <laughs> pause. 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 Now, I'm talking about J-Lo before they put the boys there. Mm. Nah, that's what you watching. Well, yeah, but I'm Look watching Look at all that flesh on the screen. I know. Look at her. I don't even notice them boys. <laughs> I didn't notice the girls behind her. She outshined all those twenty-some-year-old girls. Wow, J Lo, good job. You honestly think J Lo's waist is that small? I'm looking at it right now. No, stop it. There is something she is putting on that is restricting stop her it. waist. Okay, so and and, and the problem is the problem. And you're right. I have. I guess I have no issue with it at I'd all. I'd love to see J Lo. Whoa, uh, uh, pull her girl off. I'd be all for it. <laughs> to see girl. what falls about over there. And I wouldn't mind any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind one bit. Oh, so now she's Shakira's playing the drums? That's what she's doing. So we're supposed to believe she's Prince now? She's just... <laughs> she's Sheila, she's Sheila e. e. 
and Jimi Hendrix, or Carlos uh, Santana. Cuba. Ah, Puerto, it's Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Not I mean, Cuba. yeah, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, Ooh, it's going to be some people mad Puerto about Rico. that. Why ain't you got no American flag? The American Not knowing Puerto side. Rico is a part of the United States. Actually, the American flag is on the other side of that thing yeah, she just took that, off. That, that's still that not going to be good ostrich, enough for That ostrich she just took off. Yeah, they still not going to. Okay, keep going. What are we talking about? I got no okay, so You know what? I'm going to move on, period. That's I, I mean, <laughs> I got some information for the people, you know, so. Um, this is crazy, man. I know. So, man. the discovery in the case involving the Saints stems from a, going? a lawsuit with a certain priest who was caught finally aboard a Christmas party. Despite multiple allegations, he still had leadership roles, had access to school kids, worked at a school. Um, his name was oh, included, however, on the list that was publicly released by the Archdiocese. New Orleans, Arch, excuse me, Archbishop Gregory Amon released a list of 57 clergy members who were credibly accused of sexual abusing minors. Many of them served as priests, worked at high schools, and were allegedly prayed, prayed, allegedly preyed upon young kids. So the problem that they're having is that the Archdiocese of the New Orleans Catholic Church, who is underneath, I guess, the uh, Archbishop Gregory Almond, was in close contact with the New Orleans Saints. Um, the, in close contact with the New Orleans Saints, asking for PR help, basically. Um, asking for which guys, uh, how can they, I guess, limit the, the impact of this? And that is where the controversy originates from. The new developments are... Bro, really? My bad. <laughs> this motherfucker, he had the house. <laughs> this boy is on chewing ice on the mic. And that boy knew it. He had nothing to say. That boy just had it. <laughs> My bad, bro. Uh, you know what? You right, man. You right. My <laughs> bad, bro. Sorry, I was too much in My bad, bro. I was actually in the halftime. What is going on in here today? didn't even bother to move his head. That boy just start munching. Pause. That boy just start munching. Oh, my goodness. The boy say sorry. So now. Oh, that was my a goodness. MILF and good time right there, boy. Oh. That halftime show. Yeah, that was that. That was a MILF and extravaganza. Absolutely. That's who it was oh, made God. for. So, <laughs> well done, Jay-Z. Claude Hammers. You would say, John, well done, Jay-Z. Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did to my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Claude, have mercy. R.I.P. Bernie Mac. Oh, Man. my goodness. R.I.P. So now, yes. So it is, it is the now come out that not only did um, the New Orleans Saints uh, give advice, we read the advice that they gave last week. It has now York. come out that they have even gone so far as to Give them a list of which priests' names to disclose and which ones not to. Maybe, maybe it was just a draft list. Well, whatever the case was, it was on team email accounts. <laughs> Several of them were used to advise the archdiocese on how to handle the release of the list of clergy members. Um, it's like we don't release these who folks. Who was incredibly <laughs> accused and who was not? That's the problem. Right. Exactly. How you gonna tell this man who was man? Mm. All right, so how Tom big is this? Your wife going down. How was that? How long? <laughs> how long is this fine? How big is this fine gonna be? And how long are these suspensions? It's not gonna be a fine. She's going to lose the team. She's going to have to step back. You think so? She's not gonna lose the team. Not gonna take it like uh, old buddy. But she's gonna have to step back. But she what if they no actually the said face. the emails are just what they said they were? That we said, hey man. No. All right. Just just be cool. Be, be very transparent and forthcoming. Be imp uh, then you would give those up. Give those up. <laughs> yeah, th this looks bad, and nobody's talking about it. That's what they because did. it involves the Catholic Church. <laughs> is that why they're not, or is it because yeah, I don't want my helicopter to be brought down? But oh. the, <laughs> the Catholic <laughs> Church. 
Yo, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> been, I mean, you know, it's a conspiracy theory. We about to talk about the Catholic Church. I think that the, the, the thing that's keeping it away is that it's the Catholic Church. Uh, because, I mean, the scope of this whole thing that's been going on since, well, I first got knowledge of it after Sinead O'Connor ripped up the Pope's picture on Saturday Night Live back then, and that was in like 1992. Don't so give up. This has been a long, Nothing long time. But it's still back. not as much outrage as there should be. Absolutely. Because people still going up there getting that cracker and that wine. So. And repenting and confessing. Yeah, this is going to be. Um, it has been 16 days since my last confession. Yeah, and people do weird things for their religion, the man. NFL like, you know it's wrong. Religion. Forgive me, Father, for Let's see, the sin. NFL. Yeah, it's do the they want to lose thing. Catholics? No, you can't lose Catholics. Then you lose. There's a lot of Catholics out there. Yeah, and a lot of people who are, are real hard. You know what I learned in Sunday school today? What's that? One third of the world has not even read the Bible, have not even seen the Bible. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Well, I mean, it could it totally yeah, makes sense. The, so most, why are we worried about the losing Catholics? Book in the world, huh? Because Catholics a lot pray. of Catholics watch football. <laughs> this is Catholics, a Christian nation. Hey. We don't Catholics, care about all the Hindus who never seen the Bible. They ain't watching football. Catholics Plus, they pay. don't eat beef, so they can't play. Ma could attest to this. Catholics pay, and they pay on time. Yeah, and then they're a united front, man. They will boycott you, and you'll be done. And then a lot of them... So I'm, you don't think football will survive if they lose Catholics? I'm not saying they won't, but no, I'm saying that the will NFL not. will tread very lightly on this. Is the NCAA die if they lose Notre Dame? Yes, which is why they have not made them do anything that they've made every other team do. Every, 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 everybody else. Yeah, because you, you notice when you see apparel that says NCAA. Oh, yeah. and the University yeah, of Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Absolutely, Notre Dame. absolutely. Notre Dame has their own TV deal, which is everywhere. such a recruiting advantage. Everywhere. They the have United a national States. TV deal. <laughs> like, that's, that's Nobody ridiculous. has their own national TV deal. I don't care where you are. You got are. the Longhorn Network, right. but... They you can't get that on Rabbit Ears. Fox. If you get Rabbit Ears, you can watch every, not every, but most Notre Dame games. You can watch game. every Notre Dame home Football game. Games. Football you, games. Yes, because the basketball every no, is actually Nobody cares. Yeah, nobody you watch cares. everybody's <laughs> Notre Dame. <laughs> Notre Dame, I mean, every Longhorn Network show all sports. Yeah, and Longhorn Network on is also channel, on, what, nobody's, what yeah, yeah, on nobody's. I understand, gentlemen. I understand. You might see Longhorns on Fox. Absolutely. Very quickly, though. Oh, look at that. Who is that with some Houston oil or stuff? Who is? Oh, who is that? Oh. Who is somebody that? Somebody with the Alden. George H. Kemp. Part George of the H. Who is this Kemp. Kidding with the Alden? Who is this? Turn that up. Oh man. Say hi, Dan. Calandrian. What's the last name? Kemp. Yeah, while we're uh, while we're trying to get son. understanding on that. Oh, poor baby. Oh, man. Information issue bears relationship to these. Oh, this is a, a Mike it's Bloomberg, a Bloomberg commercial. Wow. Got us, he got us, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He got us, didn't he? <laughs> oh, oh man. I mean, so now you are listening to the Garage Apartment. We are here each and like every Sunday night. Other people buy stuff. Yeah. From Nobody, now on. You're not going to see Bernie or anybody. Hold on. Let's just give our props to Mike Bloomberg for getting the campaign commercial on during the Super Bowl. And this is about a minute-long commercial. Yeah, like that was about five million dollars. That's some long money, Mike Bloomberg. Oh, he got it though. It ain't gonna work. Though. And he's got to show another one. You don't think it's gonna work? It ain't gonna work for me. No. Who well, cares about Mike another. Bloomberg? Right. I'm. I, I'm with you, but you think it ain't gonna work? Man, imagine how man well, nothing would Trump work would for eat you. Bloomberg alive. <laughs> Those debates would be hilarious. I kind of want to see it. I, I, I'm kind of anxious just to see the debates again. When Trump starts debating, I hate there's no Republican primary so that I can't watch Trump debate. <laughs> and that's be the man because is a there master. is two other people running for president on the Republican ticket. Okay, but there won't be a primary. No, because they we're not going to see any said debate. We're not going to make a primary. Yeah, we're not going to see any debate. I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to see Life Trump in the debate. Democratic process, and nobody, nobody else cares. is. Nobody else enjoys I mean, just the pure entertainment value. I don't, I don't find Donald Trump entertaining at all. Oh, you. Oh, he is the epitome. He's no, 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 no! He's not entertaining. Oh, he's so entertaining. He's not entertaining. What at he all. did to Jeb Bush? That should have been on Wild and Out. To, to, to Ted Cruz. That was better than anything Wild and Out. Ted Cruz has become his best friend. Done. This man literally said your daddy shot Kennedy. <laughs> now he said he said your daddy was hung out with Lee Harvey Oswald. I mean, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> not entertaining. How can that you say so that? Like, it's not. It's 
it's entertaining like a car crash is entertaining. Like okay, you would watch a train a car crash get is not derailed. You wouldn't watch it. No, I don't want to see that. America loves car crash. It's I, not even a car I crash. Have not, I have not sought out the video of Kobe Bryant's helicopter going there on. I don't want to see none of that. It there is none. That's not a real video. It hit that the mountain, video your boy cold. Dr. Umar was talking about. <laughs> see the video? <laughs> I hate that guy. That was just a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, However, you, the crazy part is I have no idea what you're talking you about. You haven't seen. See, see, this I have is, no idea what you're talking about. This is about. another thing. Okay, we have to stay abreast of what's going no, on. No, no, we. Community. Well, I, no, no. See, I pay attention to first off stuff that is real and relevant, not fake. Doctor Umar does as everything. Though. Trolls yeah. first making up stuff. Rodeo. Like for example, last Sunday when we were looking up stuff and they just put a clip of a. Uh, a helicopter going yeah. down, and I said, "That's not." First off, you know that's not the clip. That's what Doctor Umar fact was that going folks, off on. Folks just do this, and there's no consequences that's or accountability for yeah, this. Yeah, but who you gonna do? You it don't want to. it to be now. Somebody like Doctor Umar. So what would come I'm saying is, that stuff. so I don't pay attention to that garbage. Well, I mean, it's I what's really going don't. on though. That and doesn't mean it's worth paying attention yeah, to. Yeah, it does because it's 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 what's going on in your community and it's the people that your How people follow. How is that follow. going on in my community? Because this is who your people follow. This is this is black stuff. This is heavy black stuff. You got to be abreast of what black people are into. That's what I try to stay. And we into some crazy stuff. Uh, Ain't we though? We need to stop it. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. So maybe we need to stop. Uh, Further perpetuating and bringing attention to stuff that ain't worth. No, you need to bring attention to it so that people can understand that. No, this is something you should not do. Okay, this so is, is your so is your position that this is so ridiculous that we need to pay attention to it, and so that it can stop, or yes, is because, you because, are you just bringing because you find it entertaining? That's what no, I'm saying. No, I'm finding it. This is ridiculous. Okay, it's entertaining also because it's crazy to see how stupid people are. But no, it's ridiculous. But you know, we have we're conspiracy theorist people. And well, every time somebody died, there's got to be something. Uh, <laughs> people was talking about that the government killed Dick Gregory. Dick Gregory is 84 years old. <laughs> I agree. I agree. 84 trust year old people die. Trust me. That's I, what happens. I am 100%. Dick Gregory was 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 uh, 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 perfectly healthy. There's no such thing as a perfectly healthy 80 year old. Man, Dick Gregory was an old senile. Being 80 poo. is sick. He was, You're and sick don't if you're 80. I don't care if you can run three miles. Absolutely. I was, and I was a Dick Gregory fan. An overweight 25-year-old is better off than an in-shape 80-year-old. He was a senile fool. Some oh, of the stuff he was that tripping. He, some of the stuff he that tripping? Gregory would say, you would and be people like, like, look what? at the Baba, Baba Gregory. I was like, like, no, he's talking out of his head. And like, what are y'all talking about? Y'all shouldn't put mics in front of him. Like he's when senile. He, the one I love to watch, now this one I did find entertaining, is where he claimed... The day Michael Mech, the week Michael Max was killed, he called him and asked and invited him to come to the, um, what's the name of the auditorium? The Audubon. The Audubon Auditorium. And he claimed, he told Michael Max, nah, uh -uh, I can't do that because they can't get both of us. Yeah. He said Sony killed Michael Jackson with a laser. <laughs> <laughs> and they fired yeah. some space. <laughs> it was something. Mm -hmm. Listen, it's to the point where you, I, I literally used to watch some of his stuff and say, I think he's trying to crack jokes. I think he's trying to, he's you trying out he new material. He was a comedian. I said, right. I said, I think he's trying out new material. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying out, and people would love to put cameras and mics in his face. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so moving on from Booty Gate, yeah, because <laughs> we didn't. Ironically know. speaking. <laughs> so now, where what did you? Umar Johnson, where you want to go with that, brother? Because nah, I, I honestly don't know anything about it. Oh, God. See, you need to be on Facebook more. Did any of y'all see the video I, 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 of Dr. Umar in that park? I didn't watch it. I don't, in that park, I don't troll in that either. Breathing but all hard. This is, he's a, he, he literally just Talking looks at aspects and takes the... Kobe was trying to start an international league before. in China. So he could and China is the he, one country that we can't defeat in the war. If he is and right, the white man didn't want that. I'm like, China got a league! <laughs> we're play a big one. They pay people millions of dollars Marbury to come over Kobe there. Over there. Well, and then he said a pharmaceutical off, company killed him You be him careful too. because he is a descendant of Frederick Douglass. Yeah, I am a descendant of Frederick Douglass. Oh, yeah. My great grandmother, so and so and so, so I'm a descendant was of George Frederick Jefferson. Douglass, his first wife, who he had all his mm -hmm. children with. And, and, get, go sit down, so. And don't get me wrong. There are times when I really do agree Abboy with Umar George Johnson, Hill. Dr. Uh, Umar. Well, I'll call no. him Umar Johnson because I don't even know if he's a doctor. But anyway, he, 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 I mean, he's a doctor, he is. I'm, I'm not denying that. that. I, I, I'll even call of finance. Dr. Dre a doctor too. No. Um, 
<laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Which Dr. Dre you talking about? The but old Dr. Dre or the new Dr. I mean, have the, you ever heard of I Dr. Dr. Jawan's Kunjufu? Sure. You have? No. Okay, exactly. <laughs> See? Well, he was talking all this stuff Umar Johnson's talking 35 years ago. Umar Johnson took his stuff, ran with it, and then threw some conspiracy. Are you really going to keep chewing the ice on the mic? He got like, you're just going to keep doing it? He got an iron deficiency. And, and check this out. So I was talking to my buddy the other day, too, and trying to tell him about the uh, audacity, uh, not audacity, but the, but the craziness that's going on with these Kobe conspiracy theories, right? <laughs> Man, there's numerology. He died at 41. That's 41 years after Jelly Bean was drafted. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why didn't they just shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I think. Why wouldn't like... they just poison him and then, because I got into it with the internet. Now, I will say why? this. Wait, he wait, was wait. Saying, no, 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 no. Check it, check it. Hold people, on. Man. He was saying he, he, was, he, he was doing all this numerology, saying how this happened, right? So then I say, well, why go through all those games? Why not just poison him and then forge the toxicology report? They can't forge the toxicology report. <laughs> really, they can't? <laughs> But, but they can get in there and booby trap his helicopter <laughs> and make sure that it's 41 years after his daddy died. <laughs> there was something about Gianna was 13 and the number 13. And What, what about should, the number 13? I, I, I have to show it to you. It's so <laughs> convoluted. And, they, was, and, and what they do is like Alex Jones. They give you all these crazy facts of numerology it. and right. say, look it up. I'm not looking up all of that. So I will it was say 41 this. years old and 41 10 10 years after Jelly quarter, Bean was in. And then it was so many days quarter. after 23 minus 60 because LeBron scored 60. I was like, what? <laughs> this is I, what our people are doing. No, this absolutely. is what we're spending time on and we call this science. All right, exactly. If we, spend, if we would direct that That's energy no into... black doctors. If we would direct that energy into something much more productive like a uh, process and organization, yeah. imagine where we would be. But this dude actually told me they couldn't force so, so then I'm like, well, why not kill Michael Jordan? It wasn't his time. Time. Oh God! <laughs> so when is it Mike's time? When? When oh, nobody. When likes Mike tries to anymore. forge a league in where? Uh, Russia. We need to stop. I agree. It's but now, to, to be fair, in this point, and to just hear me out, playing devil's advocate here, the distrust is earned. No, I'm not saying it's not. The distrust it is really, earned. It really is. It is. But yes, the ridiculousness that is the conspiracies are. Ridiculous. Like what you say? That we did this with Tupac. Mm -hmm. We did this with uh, Tupac, what's my man Nipsey? My man Nipsey. We did this with. Uh, oh, I remember when Nipsey. This is a government hit. Because <laughs> they hit. Because he doing chest one time in the head. Because he doing it. Because he doing a documentary on on, on Doctor Sebi. <laughs> And the pharmaceutical companies don't like when they had <laughs> 600 deaths in Chicago last year. Yeah. You think the pharmaceutical come, come on, man. Jimmy G, heating up. Uh, well, I think, like you said, also, part of it is also we don't want to accept the that ridiculousness just, yeah. of life. No, no, the, the of some of the things that we do. Like, nobody wanted to believe Tupac really died over a chain being snatched. Right, because he was their revolutionary hero. So you don't want to think that he died in some Over blood something and, so trivial well, as a, a chain. War. It was Bloods and Crips and Compton. And, and he, he was he, a gang for five years. He was in a gang for exactly so and nobody wants to believe it was some end stuff that he died over rather than some real stuff i understand that right but it's a shame it really is because we waste so much time there's a concussion helmet so to helmet how, how far back do we attribute that to because you know there are conspiracy theories of malcolm x's death mm -hmm. Mount martin luther king wait wait death. wait what 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 are you saying because there was some how validity far, to the malcolm x stuff how, how, what is that what is that? It, it was a conspiracy. Okay, what is the validity? Because it started off as he was shot by his own uh, religious supporters, right? He, he That's was, the fact. He, he was shot that by the nation shot of by Islam. His own religious yes. And then it turned into a government issue, right? Mm. Or a silencing of a... It, it turned into a larger issue. Right. That's the same thing as uh, Tupac Oh, no, we'll go with the Nipsey Hussle. That would probably be a better correspondent. Well, the Nipsey Hussle was shot by his own people, and then it turned into a larger thing. Yeah, but But you're was... saying there's validation for the Malcolm X. Right, there's, there's documentation of the Malcolm X thing. Documentation from 
his supporters. Right, right, His right, right, nation right. of Islam, right? Right, absolutely. Well, no, not nation of Islam, nation of oh, Islam. Oh, yeah, excuse me, you're right, that, that's slander. Right. Well, no, 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 they no, were nation of Islam members. No, it is a nation, yeah. They were nation of Islam members. And the nation probably did hit him because he did Man, I, look, I ain't got no problem saying it, and I know that hey, the nation of Islam is quite powerful, but I'm going to be honest with you. They did it. They took him out. Yeah, of course. I'm not happy about it. And, what and, and when I had because an opportunity, I'm going to be honest Obama with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Him. When I had an opportunity to meet Louis yeah. Farrakhan when I was working the State of the Black Union, this was years ago. I was still in college. I was working the State of the Black Union with, uh, for Tavis Smiley, and I got an opportunity to meet uh, um, Minister, Farrakhan. Minister Farrakhan. I swear to God I was going to go ask him about it. Wow, that you. But look, listen, listen. I couldn't get close. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't let me nowhere around them. And then I actually laughed at myself because I say, boy, you was an arrogant, ignorant See, fool. Because no. I was like, do you know how unsafe and unsmart that would have yeah, been? Yeah, would have been unsafe. Un un unless you're doing it. He's been asked it in interviews. And he probably would have answered you with the same answer he always Now, granted, did. this was totally off camera, and this yeah. was not to, to try to show him up in any way. It was truly, honestly, to say, man, like, on the side of knowing what you know now, many years removed with all of the the knowledge and maturity and, 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 and just everything that you know, was that the best way to handle that? And like I said, he's never actually come forth and, you know, uh, taking him? responsibility for the role he played in it. How do you, how do you, is he, he's dead. Yeah, he died of old age. He was an old man. He, he just died. died. Yeah. Who was this? Well, well, well. According to Farrakhan, they ever take his spot? When yeah, Farrakhan did. Yeah, but according, he but, but a, he didn't take his spot. He just. Well, no, okay, yeah, okay, no, 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 no. It, see, see, it gets weird because this is a cult of personality. So what it is is that, you know, Farrakhan has said that he that 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 he's in a spaceship. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, seriously, look it up. Talking about the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yeah, because Muhammad. he visited the spaceship with the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, that's why it's so easy for them to apply. The, the Nation of Islam's always been complicated to me because I think they squandered the whole thing. Because I think they oh, was, they had a beautiful opportunity. They were the organization who was most likely and and had the most uh, resources to actually rebuild this na build this nation. A black nation. Of black people. Right. A black within nation. this nation. Absolutely. I think they had the best chance, the best opportunity. Absolutely. But they had a bunch of crazy dogma. And they also had the most that they had the the most perfect, most beautiful face of the organization. Yeah, but they did. jealousy Jealousy caused mm -hmm. them to implode. You know well, I can't really say implode because me? the nation of Islam is still strong. Yeah, but they're not as strong as they were. Right, they had a golden and, and, opportunity. And, 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 and the thing is, is that Elijah Muhammad it's said that no black man in the nation of Islam should have to work for a white man, right? Right. So I, I remember when they used to fry fish and stuff. Right. Now these Negroes work at the airport. They doing all kinds of things. <laughs> they right? work at uh, Jimmy John's. <laughs> you don't see a nation of Islam. Why would you anyway? look up the nation of Islam founders? It says Louis Farrakhan. Because that's he's inserted he's himself. That's in what it. Say. He, he's made himself the guy. He's inserted him. It's he's a cult of himself. personality. He's Dude, made himself Elijah that guy. Elijah Muhammad was born in 1897, mm -hmm. but you are a founder with him. Well, and see, you were born in 1930. Right. Wait, first off, consider the source. Where, where, what are you looking this up? Well, no, 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 no. Let, okay, okay, but this is wiki. Hold on, but you have to explain how that happened. Because after Elijah Muhammad passed away, his son, of okay, course, well, 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 he wound up sort of just letting it go. Yeah. Because he went to Sunni Islam, to traditional Islam. Right, he went to traditional Islam, which yeah. is a little bit different and because Louis they are a little well, bit more accepting. It's not a little of, bit different. It's a lot different. Well, you're right. It's a lot Nation different. Nation of Islam, it's that's... that's Islam. Where I, said they, where I said they jumped the shark with me was when they got involved in Scientology. Right. Because they're involved in Scientology. But, but when, you talk, when, when you hear Farrakhan talk about going on the spaceship with Elijah Muhammad, you understand why. And then when you get into their dogma... And what they believe with Dr. Yakub and all that type of stuff, you're like, okay. 
Yeah, I'm in crazy town now. <laughs> God bless my brothers. I do think that it's still a great organization. As if far you, as it, um, if you were trying to change, pride and, yeah, because and it's changed a lot of brothers who absolutely. had a whole lot of problems. Absolutely, absolutely. And then a lot of times they'll get through that, and then they find out exactly what's going on, get disillusioned, and moved elsewhere. But which was exactly what Malcolm X did. Right. Right, but the th but, but, but it the changed it from red though. The things that they learned, <laughs> red, absolutely. not a good system. <laughs> absolutely, it changed it from red. It changed it from red. But they jumped the shark with me when they went to uh, uh, Scientology. Uh, yeah, I hate to say that, but they did. I, I, I'm like, look, you gotta, you're going away from the teaching. So Is now the white we're man in the devil. Yes or no? Muhammad died of congestive heart failure in 19. Yeah, congestive heart failure just means old age, pretty yeah. much. We're in, our last, we're in our last eighth of the show. That's horrible. That's I, I, I want to go another hour. Well, I, I, you want to go another hour? I really do. left on my tablet. Oh, man, we're in the last eighth of the show. See so me? Now, we got I mean, we have been all over the place. What score, bro? I don't know. I haven't I even been watching the game. 13-10. 13-10. But see, that was non-sports talk. We got to do non-sports talk. Absolutely. Look at Richard Sherman. Look at Richard Sherman. Oh, wait. San Francisco has the lead. Who's he holding? He's playing his own, man. He's playing his own. Who's he guarding? Uh, Watkins. Actually, nobody. He's holding nobody. Yeah, he's, he's holding, holding the zone. Space. He's holding the zone. Absolutely. He's scoring, my homies. And, and Watkins got in front of his zone. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so now. God, he's always over. We have a big fight here in town next week. Uh. Bon, Jones Bond, jo Jones Bond, but John Bones Jones. There you go. <laughs> I was about to say Billy Soul Bonds. You know Billy Soul Bonds, old blues man. Is uh, is fighting here in the Toyota Center. Look at Eric B. Enemy. Oh man, look at that future Houston Texans coach. Looking like somebody uncle. Oh, we speak. We gotta get it. Oh, what you God. mean? We got our GM. So here. now, thank all you. It's all you been figured out. That's Bring it all back to me. It's all been resigned. So now we gotta talk about that. Well, let's what talk about our local out? teams this man here. Got five different posts, man. Let's talk about our local teams here. So, if you have not heard, equipment manager Bill O'Brien has Brown officially lady. been named general manager of the Houston Texans, as he was already the. The person who traded away uh, okay. Jadamian Collins. He was already the head <laughs> coach <laughs> of the Houston Texans. That's who he, he is. He was already the offensive coordinator of the Houston Texans. Uh -huh. He has now been named general manager. He just picked up another hat. Thus, congratulations, Texas fans. You have just been given 10 years of failure. He made it to the day. And if Deshaun Watson the said, if he leaves, I go, uh, I'm signing right. him to. What? Yeah, because Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson, is Watson so likes him, then it, it, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, he's but he's so stay. not in control of that. He's Thank gotta you. Stay. <laughs> what? They can just say, Deshaun, sit saying, your ass down. If he said it. If he said <laughs> it. <laughs> you, you ain't even played your rookie contract out yet. <laughs> Shut up. We fired him. Now go sit your ass down. <laughs> you will not. <laughs> Man, sit your ass down. You so now. Him leaving. Um, he would be yeah. nothing without him. Uh, we all know how we feel about him as a coach. I think we kind of share the same sentiment about him being a, gen, a, a general manager. Yeah. Uh, Cal McNair, who is now, who is, t you know, what is he, president and CEO of the Texans? That did. Cal McNair, which is the son of, of course, owner Bob McNair, had even gone so far as to say he named Bill O'Brien because Bill O'Brien has earned it. He has won four division titles in six years. He has gone to the division playoffs. He has given you two playoff wins. Oh, hang on to the ball, Mahomes. Uh oh, this game is getting real. I wonder what my son's doing because Patrick Mahomes is his favorite player. This game is getting He's real. Yelling right Why? Here. He's, He's not a Jaguar. Tripping. Huh? He's not a Jaguar. He's not a Jaguar, but the Jaguars don't have much to look forward to in the Super Bowl. Uh, <laughs> but at the quarterback position. My son has realized that. Uh, he, saw, he saw Big Dick Nick and said no. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, I think Bosa with the strip sack is where we're going to go with that one. Rookie of the year. Rookie MAGA year, supporter. Bosa. MAGA. He's making the 49ers great again. One of them jungle monkeys was on my hood. <laughs> yes. So, Bill O'Brien, general manager, um, still has not hired all of his new st uh, coaching oh! staff. Oh. Yes, he did. Oh, didn't need that one. Damn, that offensive lineman came in there like uh, yeah. 
I think he concussed himself. Oh, Lil Amadi's tripping. This is, tripping this right is ridiculous now. right now, though. My You're going to run sure. all the way downfield oh, to go celebrate an interception. Yeah, and it got them boys in a war. An oh, interception. Oh, he, right he completely it. didn't he's see him. He's sitting right underneath it. Yeah, what was he looking That's at? That's a bad one there. I used to love those. So now, uh, mind you, they uh, they let go of their Defensive player. No, what is it? The oh. player operation something, something, something. Their fake gym. Mind they you, he just won. Just two years ago. One and they got told no and then got uh, almost um, – they got in trouble because it was tampering to even talk to him in the first place. No, I wanted to go there to say that just two years ago, this this guy, this guy received an award for this position by the NFL, was honored in the NFL as that as that of the year. And then now, because Bill O'Brien is now general manager, he lets him go. Of course, you know that Romeo Cannell is out. Uh, they let the linebackers coach go. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the year after letting Vrabel go. And so he still has not named his coaching staff. He has been given full power of the offense and now, of course, player operations, essentially. <laughs> How do y'all feel about that, gentlemen? <laughs> How do y'all feel about it? Because I know that for some reason, because y'all get upset with me because I I have written the Texans off. Uh, no matter what, several occurs. years ago, several years ago. For me, them off when they for came. me, it shows that the organization is completely tone it's deaf completely, to the fans. It's completely tone deaf, or just to don't the care fans. what the fans believe. Because most most people I know, I don't know any Bill O'Brien guys or girls, right? For that Little matter, one maybe his wife. I yeah, exactly. But I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know that girl. Oh, I don't man. know anybody. They say his daughters are embarrassed. All right, uh, Who's a so Texans I. fan? He's married to. I don't he's know anybody. To somebody. Huh? He's married to a lady. He's got a. He's married to somebody uh, like a, a basketball coach kid. or something like that. Who cares? That doesn't matter. So he's got a kid with special. My needs point is this: say. they say he deserves it, but he has not won anything on any level. He is fifty-two and forty-four as his overall career. We are I mean, excuse me, not we. The Texans are a team Six playoff games, that celebrates four, four losses. Division, division titles. titles. <laughs> right. Division titles. When you titles. celebrate division titles, you set the bar low. Exactly. Okay? So this is a set the bar low type of group. When people were like, he needs to be fired, I'm like, I know, but he won't. Even though they got come back upon. <laughs> He was in the divisional playoff, and that's good enough for the management there. Right. That's good enough for the ownership group. We placed. We gave it a go. They're okay with placing. Okay with getting a ribbon. <laughs> All right? They're okay with that. So I don't know what to tell you people, <laughs> you Texans fans, but it, that is what it is, man. It is what it is. Uh, As a Texans fan, Your ownership is... group does not respect you or respect your opinion. Keep going. They do not. It is sad to see. I understand how they can do it because his daddy loved him, and this guy clearly loves him too. Or just is so apathetic where he's just saying, "Go ahead." My daddy said you were oh, good for it, so right. you're good for it. Now this dude is running nothing but Denver players. There that, is hey, Kyle hey, is a genius hey, though. that's not what we're talking about right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know where you are right now, but right now we're talking about the Texas. So yeah, I no, mean, this game is unwinding. The way I see going. it, I'm upset. I want Bill O'Brien to be fired. And kind of the opposite happened. But it is what it is at this point in time. I just need Deshaun Watson to play better. I would like for Deshaun Watson to play better. But how play much like is that? Mahomes. How much of that play is like because Lamar Jackson? How much of that is because his coaching staff is not developing him? Or because his I personnel? Mean, no, is no, it ain't. It ain't. Or the because his personnel is, is not to the level of I mean, his strength. Has a lot to do with it. His line is garbage, mm -hmm. hot garbage. But you've got to overcome that. Now I will say his line will be Mahomes much better next year. Mahomes had the worst ranked defense, second worst ranked so? defense for the first. The offensive years. line, the offensive line will be better this year. I will say that. I will say that. Um, but uh, I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. Whoa, what was Has that? Has he been drinking? <laughs> so now. Has he been drinking? Who is that? The doctor? man on the phone. The doctor? <laughs> the doctor. That's the, the good doctor. doctor. We got four minutes to go. So. Yeah, man. Evidently, you're not listening to the show, but it's all right. We love you. Yeah.
Uh oh, they called their flag. So it's sad to see, but <laughs> like I say, I feel like they better overcome his garbageness. Yeah. Several teams have. You just got to be able to do it. The only player we have that can do it is Deshaun Watson. Good thing he touches the score. Right, so now we got three minutes left. So let me say this. Uh, that may not even be the craziest news or, or, or hiring announced this week. What's that? Because the Houston Astros. Dusty! The Houston Astros named Dusty Baker. Hey, can I say this, though? Shout out next week, because we will get into yeah. this more. But it turns out Dusty is only 70. I swear he's 85. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty been old my whole life. Oh, my Dusty God. Dusty ain't but 70? Yeah. That is crazy. Dusty knows Spanish. He knows Spanish. You ain't he hear him at Spanish. the press conference yeah. speak Spanish? Yeah. Well, Spanish. I, I would know Spanish, too, if I relied upon Dominicans for my survival. Oh, well. oh my goodness. Oh, my wow. goodness. Wow, what? What? <laughs> he doesn't? Oh, my goodness. Remember the slap ass uh, Key and Peele thing? Hey, man, we'll have to leave it there. He said, I got a slap ass. I'm Dominican. He what says, Major League Baseball, we're all Dominican. Uh, yes, indeed. You are listening to the Garage Department. Uh, we we are here black. each and every Sunday night. I we need to get a black, this day in black history. From 6 to 7, Central Standard Time. I mean, I'm sorry. 6 to 8. This day on Black History, the ice cream scoop was invented. Six to eight, we have been extended an hour. Six to eight, Super Standard Time. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure we're first, right? And check out our website, thegaragept.com. 1896. We appreciate y'all checking us out. Ice cream. Man, we have had an interesting day, an interesting show. Yeah, you still didn't tell us your story. And we appreciate you all checking us out and listening. You could have been anywhere in the world, especially with the big game on. San Francisco just went up 19 to 10. But you're here with us, and we appreciate that. So, man, y'all have a wonderful week. Be good. If you can't be good, then be good at it, man. Stay blessed. Be safe. And we'll holler till next time. The Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweet, photos, videos. Let me hear some real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.